so much to learn about. It'll make you want to shout, Blippi! <laughs> Aloha! It's me, Blippi! And look at where I'm at today. Hawaii Volcanoes National Park on the big island of Hawaii. And this place is awesome because of volcanoes. Today, you and I are gonna learn about volcanoes. Yeah, maybe we'll find out what it looks like after it erupts, or maybe some lava tubes, Ooh, and maybe some steam. All right, are you ready to learn and have some fun? Me too, let's go. Wow. This place is so cool! And I even have a map. But it's kind of confusing on where I'm at. I'm trying to find all those cool things like the lava tubes and the volcano. <laughs> Aloha, Blippi. Oh! Are you lost? Do you need help finding anything? Hey! Whoa! Are you a park ranger? I am a park ranger here. My name's Ranger Aaron. Wow! And yeah, to answer your question, I am lost. I was actually trying to find the lava tubes. Ooh, well, you're in luck. We have Nahuku Lava Tube right down this trail. Do you want to go see it? Yeah, will you show me? Yeah, let's go together. All right. Whoa, great. <laughs> Ranger Aaron, this place is beautiful. I know. I love this hike over here. I would call this a rainforest. We do have areas of rainforest here at Kilauea Volcano. Really? How did the eruption not get rid of all these plants? Well, the thing is, during many volcanic eruptions here, the lava doesn't cover the whole forest. It sometimes, it'll flow around areas and leave a little pocket of forest. We call these kipukas. Kipuka. That's right. These are really important, actually, because kipukas serve as seed banks. Seed banks? What are those? It means they're areas where all of the seeds from our native plants can be saved. And then after an eruption, the wind might blow them, birds might pick them up and drop them on the new lava, and new plants can start to grow. These plants make it possible for the rest of the forest to come back to that area. And eventually, you may not even know there was ever a lava flow there. Wow, that is really cool. But since there's a lot of poisonous gases in the air when volcanoes erupt, how do these plants survive? Well, a lot of our plants here on this island, they had to adapt to survive a volcano such as our Ohia Lehua tree. Look at these giant trees above us. Wow, they these, are big. <laughs> these trees are very important in Hawaiian culture, and they also have some superpowers to help them survive a volcanic eruption. Superpowers? I love superpowers. What do you mean? Well, the Ohia Lehua tree can actually hold its breath during a volcanic eruption for up to two weeks. Oh, that's a long time! Mm -hmm. This is really cool! Can we keep exploring? Yeah, let's go see the lava tube. Oh, cool, let's go! <laughs> wow, what's this? This is the Nahuku lava tube. Lava tube? What does that mean? Well, that means this is a tunnel where lava used to be flowing during an eruption. But sometimes at the end of the eruption, the lava will flow out and leave this empty tunnel behind. And this one we can actually walk through. Oh, cool. That sounds really exciting. Can we walk through it right now? Yeah, let's go. All right. <laughs> you lead the way. All right. <laughs> oh, pretty dark wow. in here. Yeah, don't worry. There are some lights. All right. <laughs> Whoa, cool. So we have to imagine this is where the lava used to be flowing through many, many years ago. Oh, wow. Well, this is really cool. Oh, and it's getting pretty dark in here. I know. Good thing we've got a few lights to help us see the way. Oh, yeah. Smart. Whoa, cool. Do you mind if I touch the wall? Oh, please don't. This is actually a very unique ecosystem in our park. There are some insects that live here that don't live anywhere else. And if we touch the walls, we could disturb this ecosystem. Okay, if you're ever in a lava tube, don't touch the walls. Whoa! And it's really cool how there's special insects that just live in here. But hey, what's that sound? Yeah, the dripping? Is it raining in here? Actually, volcanic rock is very porous. That means there's lots of little holes and cracks in it. So when it rains, the water can filter down through the rock and eventually it can drip right on top of us. Oh, cool. Well, I guess we'll continue, but we'll try and not get wet. <laughs> right, we should have brought an umbrella. Yeah. Wow, that was really cool. I know, this is one of my favorite places in our national park. Yeah, and you're so smart knowing about those insects and also how the water drops through the rock. 
All the important facts to know to understand how special our volcano is. Yeah, it is very special. Hey, and speaking of volcano, do you mind if we go check it out? Yeah, do you want to go see Hale Mauma'u Crater? Oh, I would love to. That sounds like fun. All right, let's go see our volcano. All right. <laughs> Wow, cool, a volcano! That's right, this is a very special place at the National Park. So whenever I bring students up here, I remind them to keep quiet voices oh. so that we can be respectful, so that everybody can enjoy this part of the National Park. Wow, and why is it so sacred up here? Well, this is known as a vahipana. In Hawaiian, that means a sacred place. In Hawaiian culture, many people believe that this crater, Hale Mauma'u Crater, is the home of Pele Honuamea. Pele is the fire goddess and the goddess of volcanoes, and many people believe that the Hawaiian islands would not be here without Pele. So that's why this is such a sacred and special area in the park. Wow, this is a special place and it's so peaceful. But wait a second, what is a volcano? Well, a volcano is a geologic feature where underneath the Earth's crust, magma chambers can form. Magma is molten rock. So these pockets of molten rock start building up pressure. And eventually, they can build up enough pressure that they actually break through the Earth's crust and lava can erupt out of the Earth's crust. Wow, cool! So does this volcano erupt a bunch of lava? It does. Actually, this volcano is erupting right now. Wait, right now? Why is it not just exploding in air? Well, the Hawaiian volcanoes don't usually have explosive eruptions. The Hawaiian volcanoes have what we call effusive eruptions. So the lava can bubble out and flow, and they also sometimes erupt out of rift zones in the side of the volcano. Oh, that makes sense. So is that the lava down there? Well, that is the lava down there. Once lava cools and turns into rock, it turns black. So we are looking at the cooled lava lake right now. Wow, and when did this eruption start? This current eruption started in September of 2021. Oh, and what did it look like before that time? Well, there was actually a really big change in our volcano before the last big eruption. Before that really big eruption, our volcano, the caldera was more flat. And Hale Mauma'u Crater was very small. It would have just been right over there. But what happened during that eruption? We had that magma chamber underneath the earth and it started to empty because it was erupting out of the side of the volcano. Okay. So eventually all of the lava, all of the magma got out of that chamber and it was just empty. And when it was hollow and empty like that, it couldn't hold the weight of the volcano. So it actually collapsed. Wow. And that's what we can see here. This crater got much, much bigger during that eruption. Wow, that's really cool. So is this the only volcano that you folks have here? Flippy, guess how many volcanoes you can see right now? Um, one? The answer is actually three. We have five volcanoes on our island total, and we can see three of them right here. Do you want to go see the others? Yeah, let's go. All right, let's go. Whoa, so that's the other volcano we can see? Right, that is one of the other volcanoes we can see from right here. That's called Mauna Kea. And one interesting fact is Mauna Kea is so tall, in the wintertime, it can actually get snow. Wait, snow in Hawaii? That's right, I used to teach second grade, and my second graders could go to the top of Mauna Kea, sled down a hill with snow on it, and then go to the beach in the same day. <laughs> wow, that sounds like so much fun. I would love to live here. I love sledding and the beach. <laughs> oh, wait, so you said there's another volcano? All I see is hills. Well, actually, we are going to see Mauna Loa Volcano. And this is a really great example of why they're called shield volcanoes. You see this big hill behind us? Yeah. That is all Mauna Loa. That is all the volcano. Wow. Even though it doesn't look like this, it looks like this, a shield volcano. It's still a volcano. That's right, like a superhero shield laid on its side. <laughs> cool. Wow, do you have any other fun things to see today? Do you want to see some steam vents with steam coming out of the earth? Yeah, I'd love to. All right, let's go see those last. All right. <laughs> Wow, this place is awesome. 
Yeah. Park Ranger Aaron, what is this? This is a steam vent. Oh, a steam vent? What's that? Well, do you remember when we walked through the lava tube, we felt all of those drops of water falling on us? Yeah. Well, something similar happens here. Remember, our, our volcanic rock is so porous. That means there's lots of holes and cracks in it. Right. So when it rains, the rainwater can seep down through the rocks. Okay. Do you remember what's underneath a volcano? Uh, the magma chamber? That's right, all of that <laughs> magma, that super hot molten rock is underneath our volcano. So eventually the water seeps down so far, it gets heated up by the magma, it evaporates and it turns into steam. Wow. The steam can escape from these cracks in the earth just like this. Wow, this has been so much fun learning about volcanoes with you today. You're so knowledgeable. Well, thank you for coming and learning about volcanoes. It's so important that we work together to protect these special places. Awesome, thank you. <laughs> well, I've got to go meet some youth junior rangers over at the visitor center. Wow, cool. All right, bye, Blippi. All right, see you later. Enjoy your visit. All right, have a good day. Wow, Mount Aloha looks so big. And remember how we learned that it looks like a superhero shield laying down flat? Yeah, not all volcanoes look like this. Wow, we learned so much today. We even got to walk through a lava tube and it was so tubular. <laughs> yeah, and those steam vents, so cool. And it was pretty warm too, that steam from all that heat. Wow, and that crater, it was so big and vast. Wow, I sure did love learning about volcanoes with you. But this is the end of this video. If you wanna watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? <laughs> B-L-I-P-P-I, Blippi. -P -P -I. Good job, all right, see you again, bye-bye. It's me, Blippi! And today, we're here at Candyland Indoor Playground in Sherman Oaks, California. <laughs> oh, and look at this place. It's so colorful and filled with candy. <laughs> yeah, like gumdrops and lollipops. Whoa, and ice cream. <laughs> yeah! Woo, <laughs> this ice cream is the color white and the color green. Oh. I bet it's mint flavored. <laughs> hey, do you have a favorite flavor of ice cream? <laughs> yeah, I like that flavor too. <laughs> well, we better go inside. <laughs> Ooh, but before we go inside, we need to take off our shoes. Okay? <laughs> One shoe. Ooh. And two shoe. Whoa, <laughs> two shoes. Here we go. <laughs> I'm a crab! Woo! <laughs> Woo, look at me go! <laughs> Slow motion! Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! It looks like we're in the ocean! Huh. We better swim! Here we go! <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> what are these? Whoa! Look at how colorful it is! <laughs> look at this! We have the color green, the color pink, and woo, the color blue! <laughs> Here we go! Whoa! <laughs> so fun! <laughs> Whoa! It's so bouncy! Whoa! Hey! <laughs> I wonder what's over here! Bye-bye! Check it out! <laughs> that was 
one fast slide! <laughs> You jump along with me? <laughs> okay, let's jump together. See how high you can jump up in the sky. <laughs> Jumping is so fun and it's really good exercise. Did you know there are many animals that like to jump too? <laughs> Will you jump like a kangaroo with me? Okay, jump like a kangaroo. <laughs> What other kinds of animals like to jump? Hmm, can you think of any animals that can jump? Hmm, oh, I know, frogs! Ribbit, ribbit. <laughs> okay, let's be frogs together. Whoa, this is pretty fun, but let's keep exploring. <laughs> Look at me go, <laughs> whoa! Check it out! I'm riding a blue baby chick. It's made out of marshmallow. Whoa! Ooh, thanks for the ride. <laughs> Look at where we are. Whoa, we're here at the supermarket. Hmm, I bet there's some tasty food inside. <laughs> Come on, let's go check it out. Whoa, look at this place. <laughs> there are so many cool things to buy and eat here. Yum! <laughs> But first, we need a shopping cart. Okay, <laughs> this will work. Here we go. Ooh, look, some yummy food. Well, we should definitely get some bread. And, whoa, look, this bun has sesame seeds on it. <laughs> Yum! <gasps> definitely want this. And maybe some more bread and a hot dog bun. Yummy! <laughs> oh, and look at this. There are all kinds of canned food, cans like pineapple slices. <laughs> Ooh. Alphabet soup. Whoa, <laughs> it's soup, but with the letters of the alphabet in it. <laughs> oh, and some more cans, corn, and oh, check it out. Tomato sauce. <laughs> hmm. I wonder what we could put tomato sauce on. We'll probably need it though. <laughs> oh, and you don't want to forget fresh vegetables. Yeah, look, we have lettuce and we have spinach. Whoa, <laughs> yum. And, whoa, check it out. Cucumber slices. Hello, hello. <laughs> Woo. We'll save these for later. <laughs> Oh, and look, speaking of tomato sauce, we can put it on pizza. Yeah, that's what we can put that tomato sauce on. Look, this pizza has all kinds of toppings. Mm. Ooh, we should put all the toppings on the pizza. <laughs> oh, and look, these toppings, olives, onions, and green peppers. Yummy, <laughs> there we go. Put all the toppings on the pizza. Oh, oh, this pizza's gonna be so tasty. <laughs> Mushrooms, yum, <laughs> yeah. Hey, do you have a favorite topping you like on your pizza? Woo, <laughs> I like that too. <laughs> but before we eat this pizza, we need to buy all the food we picked out. We can take it to the register. Okay, <laughs> I'll save this for later. <laughs> okay, follow me. Looks like we got a lot of groceries. Okay, <laughs> let's put it on the conveyor belt. When you wanna buy food at the supermarket, go to the register. Then there'll be a really nice cashier there to help you. <laughs> Whoa, and it looks like we have a really helpful cashier here. <laughs> Oh, hi there. I'm Cashier Blippy. I'd be happy to help you. Oh, it's very nice to meet you. Thanks for your help. Whoa, it looks like there's a lot of food here. No problem for me. <laughs> awesome. See what I said? Yeah, when you go to the register at a supermarket, there's always a helpful cashier nearby. 
Okay, let me bring you up. <laughs> beep. 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 Oh, here you go. Oh, thanks. <laughs> oh, you're welcome. <laughs> beep, beep. 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 <laughs> Ooh. Let's see what the total comes out to. But before we eat all the food we got, let's keep exploring. I bet there's some more fun things to see. <laughs> Come on! Ice cream! Ice cream! <laughs> ice cream for sale! <laughs> Whoa! Would you like some ice cream? Yeah! I'm selling ice cream at my ice cream stand. <laughs> Whoa! We have a lot of flavors. Hello! <laughs> Whoa! There are so many amazing flavors! But... Before we start eating ice cream <laughs> and sharing ice cream, I think we need to make some ice cream. <laughs> Whoa, look, there are some ingredients and supplies. Ooh, we have a bowl and a spoon. Wait a minute. <laughs> this bowl looks like an ice cream cone, and this spoon does too. Hmm, wonder if it tastes like one. Nope, it tastes like a spoon. <laughs> but that's okay. Look, we have some ingredients. Yeah, we have some eggs. Woo! Woo! <laughs> yeah, some eggs and some milk. Mmm! <laughs> yeah! Woo! And some sugar. Woo! Yeah! Some sugar. <laughs> well, looks like we have all the ingredients to make some tasty ice cream. Okay, so first, let's crack some eggs. And then, put in some milk. And... Don't want to forget that sweet sugar. <laughs> Woo. Then you mix it all up. We almost lost an egg. Woo. <laughs> Woo. That was a lot of mixing. Yeah, churning and mixing. It's hard work making ice cream. <laughs> but now we can take this and put it in the freezer. Woo. Then all you have to do is wait, mix it some more, Wait, mix it some more so it gets nice and cold. <laughs> well, now that we mixed it, we just need to wait. Okay, here we go. Ooh, <laughs> I think it's time. Whoa, our ice cream. Ooh. <laughs> Look, we have made some ice cream and a cone. <laughs> See, we have an ice cream cone and a scoop of tasty ice cream. Mmm. Mmm, vanilla. <laughs> so tasty. Oh, hey, I have an idea. Let's make the biggest ice cream cone we can. Whoa. Whoa. Look at our cone. <laughs> it's so wobbly. Yeah, because we have four scoops of ice cream. One, two, three, four. Vanilla, salted caramel, chocolate chip, and strawberry. Whoa. <gasps> it's delicious. <laughs> hey, well look, we have a lot of ice cream here, but we also have different kinds of ice cream. Oh, we'll put this for later. <laughs> oh, there you go. Whoa. <gasps> oh, 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 an ice cream cookie sandwich. Yum. <laughs> Two cookies and some ice cream makes a tasty treat. You know what this is? Hmm. Yeah, it's not ice cream. It's a popsicle. <laughs> Woo, a tasty purple popsicle. <laughs> yeah, popsicles are great for a sunny day. Oh, and look. <laughs> one for me and one for you. <laughs> Yummy. <laughs> well, I'll save this for later. Ooh. Hey, it's orange. <laughs> one of my two favorite colors. <laughs> well, I'm having a lot of fun eating all this ice cream, but I think I have room for one more scoop. <laughs> one really big scoop! <laughs> Yum! <laughs> Looks like someone needs help. Good thing we're here at the fire station. Come on inside. <laughs> Look at 
in this place. Fire stations are awesome because it's where the firefighters get ready to put out the fires and save the day. <laughs> and I love fire stations because this is where they park the fire trucks. <laughs> yeah. truck with a ladder <laughs> and a hose to put out the fire. <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> and look, it even has some lights and sirens to let everyone know oh, someone needs help from a fire. <laughs> Whoa, that's pretty cool. <laughs> Whoa, and look at this. Whoa! Looks like you and I can get dressed up like a firefighter. <laughs> See, there's a hat. And hmm, this looks like the firefighter jacket. <laughs> yeah. Here we go. One arm and two arms. <laughs> Whoa, <laughs> yeah. Firefighter Flippy is on the job. Whoa, look at this. <laughs> yeah. It's a walkie-talkie. Boom. Maybe we can find out if someone needs help. Firefighter Blippi on the job. Anyone need help from a fire? Whoa, there is someone out there. Come on, we need to go help them. <laughs> Whoa, and good thing we have a fire truck. <laughs> yeah, check it out. It's so shiny. <laughs> okay, come on, let's get inside. We can save the day. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! Today was awesome! <laughs> I had such a great time with you here at Candyland Indoor Playground! <laughs> I had a lot of fun playing pretend, climbing, jumping, swinging! <laughs> Whoa! It was just so much fun! <laughs> well, that's the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Hey, can you spell my name with me? Okay, here we go. <laughs> B-L-I-P-P-I, -P -P -I. Blippi, good job. Well, I'll see you soon. Bye-bye. <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! Me, Blippi! Whoa! And look at where we're at! Yeah! Today we're at Aquarium of Boise in Boise, Idaho! And this place is awesome! Yeah, it's an aquarium! Have you ever been to an aquarium before? Yeah! It's so cool because they have so many marine animals here! Yeah! Marine animals are animals that live in the water! Well, shall we go explore? Let's go! Whoa! Oh, there's so many different kinds of fish in here! Whoa, they're all back there! Oh, hello! <laughs> Whoa, look up here! Looks like a list of different types of fish! Oh, look at that one! That one's called a yellow tang! Yeah, and it's all yellow! <laughs> I wonder why it's called yellow tang! <laughs> Ooh, and look at this one! It says purple tang! Woo, looks like it's purple and yellow. Whoa, woo, and that one way over there. Whoa, powder blue tang. Wow. yeah, it's blue and yellow. Okay, let's try and find them. Um, let's find the yellow tang. <laughs> yeah, they're pretty distinct looking, huh? All yellow. Okay, not that one. <gasps> Wait, there's one way over there. Do you see it? so far back there. Oh, it's hiding. Hello, yellow tang. <laughs> Look up there. Yeah, an orange, white, and black fish. Oh, I know what that is. Look up here. Yeah, that's the fish. It's a clownfish. Look up there. Do you see that blue fish? Yeah, it's just pure blue. It's really bright and vibrant. And look up here. Whoa, it's a blue damselfish. It's so bright and blue and colorful. Cool, see you later, fish. 
Whoa, more fish. <laughs> Whoa, look at this in here. Wait a second. This looks like the same shape as the last clownfish, but this one is just black and white. Yeah, do you see it right there? Yeah, a black and white striped fish. Here comes another one. Wait, yeah, this is actually a type of clownfish. Yeah, but can you think of an animal that lives on land that's black and white stripes? Yeah, a zebra. Wow, cool. These are the zebras of the ocean. <laughs> see you later, clownfish. Whoa, did you see that? Yeah, that looked like a puffer fish to me. Whoa, actually, it's a porcupine puffer. Yeah, looks really smooth right now. But if it gets frightened or scared or angry, what it does is its cheeks puff out and its whole body, yeah, becomes spiky. Yeah, it's a defense mechanism. Super cool. <laughs> Whoa, and look down here. Whoa, do you see this? Wow, looks like an eel. Yeah, this is actually a yellowhead moray eel. And it's just hanging out in the rocks. Yeah, just chilling. Yeah, that's what eels like to do. Hang out in the rocks and just poke their heads out. <laughs> All right, see you later. Fun hanging out with you. <laughs> Whoa, what else do they have here? <laughs> Whoa, look at this. Looks like an old boat that then water got into and rocks over the years. Whoa, it's a perfect fish habitat. Oh, and look at what I have. <laughs> yeah, some snacks. For the fish. Yeah, just like how you and I like snacks. Yeah, fish like snacks too. Whoa, and they said I can actually feed these fish. All right, first let's try these peas. There we go. <laughs> All right, pour it in my hand. And then we'll see if the fish like to come and eat some food. Here you go. Whoa, do you see all those fish? Yeah, those are Japanese koi fish. There's so many of them, and they're so colorful. All right, we have a little bit more food over here. All right, hello, Japanese koi fish. Yeah. All right, here you go. Whoa, are you hungry? Whoa, they're so cool looking. They're so colorful. Yeah, some are orange and black, some are white and black, and some are white, black, and orange. Whoa, see you later. <laughs> All right, what else is around here? Whoa, look at this tank. This tank is massive. Looks like the fish are all on the other side. Whoa, but there's a lot of gallons and liters of water in here. Whoa, oh, and look at this. Whoa, looks like a scuba diver. Whoa, do you see this helmet? It looks like a port right here. Yeah, scuba divers have this area so then they can see while they're underwater. Who and scuba divers wear this outfit so then they can stay warm under the water and so they can breathe underwater. You know how you and I have to hold our breath underwater? Scuba divers can breathe while they're underwater. Cool. Oh, and do you see this big weight? Yeah, us humans, we tend to float. So this weight is holding the scuba diver on the bottom of the sea floor. So then this scuba diver can work. Yeah, looks like the scuba diver works underwater. Wow, whoa, look at all these tanks. Wow, this is so cool. Ooh, and look at this one. It's really big and bright and vibrant. Yeah, do you see that? Yeah, that orange thing, that is actually a sea anemone. Oh, and do you see those rock looking things up there? Yeah, they're also pretty bright. Those are coral. Yeah, sea anemones and coral. Yeah, they're actually animals. They kind of just look like rocks, huh? Those coral do. <laughs> well, hey, do you see how bright they are and just vibrant in color? Yeah, it's actually because there's algae that lives inside the sea anemone. <laughs> Isn't that interesting? Whoa, oh look, you see how that fish is just hanging out with that sea anemone and right next to all that coral? Yeah, coral is actually really, really important. 
because a bunch of fish like these ones actually live in all the coral. Yeah, it's just like how you and I live in a house. Yeah, these fish love to live inside the coral. Whoa, and around the coral and use sea anemones as a nice soft bed. <laughs> so cozy. Whoa, Ooh, and look at this one. Oh, it's really bright and green. Whoa, so cool. Hey, remember how we saw that eel hanging out in the rock and the coral? Yeah, they're just hanging out in their homes. <laughs> See you later, enjoy your homes. <laughs> Look over here. Wow, this is a big tank. Whoa. Do you see that fish way over there? Whoa. Yeah, there's a fish way back there. It's so big. It's a bumblebee grouper. Yeah, and actually, they live to be 80 to 100 years old. But this one's only about 10 years old, so it's going to get way bigger. Whoa. Oh, these are some big fish in here. Whoa, look at these. Hello, hey, and look at the bottom. Whoa, do you see all those? Yeah, they definitely look like sharks, huh? <laughs> look at them just hanging out out the bottom. Whoa, whoa, look at these fish. More big fish. Yeah, these are Paku. Yeah, pakus, to be exact, because there's many of them. Whoa, and they kind of look like really big piranhas. Yeah, and actually, they eat vegetables. They're herbivores. Yeah, you see how big they are? Oh, and actually, let me show you something right up here. It's really cool. Yeah, here's the teeth. Do you see this? Yeah, they kind of look like human teeth that they have, huh? Oh, and I have a big treat for us. Yeah, these pakus, I bet, are very hungry, and we have a nice yummy snack for them. Yeah, these are almonds. Watch out, they might splash. Whoa, look at them go. <laughs> Whoa, Whoa. I'm throwing them down so then they hear and see them splash. There we go. Yeah, it's like they're falling off of trees. Whoa, here you go. Whoa, they must be really hungry. Let me do a few at the same time. Whoa, whoa, don't worry everyone. There's more for everyone. Here you go. Whoa, cool. <laughs> whoa, all right, here's some more. <laughs> Wow, aren't they cool? They must be very, very hungry. Whoa, cool. <laughs> wow, wasn't this so much fun learning about marine animals together? Yeah, I had a great time learning with you. <laughs> well, this is the end of this video though. But if you wanna watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? <laughs> B-L-I. P-P-I, Flippy, good job. All right, see you again. <laughs>
Look at me go! <laughs> Whoa! Hello! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> yeah! You can swing sitting down, or you can swing standing up! Woo! <laughs> Here we go! Woo! <laughs> Look at me go! <laughs> Whoa! I'm up so high! Hello! <laughs> Woo! I'm a bird! Hello! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> well, that's pretty silly. <laughs> but I think I want to spin some more. Here we go! Whoa! Check it out! It's an aerial cube! <laughs> Ooh, I bet we can climb up in this. Here we go! Whoa! Look! <laughs> oh, so relaxing in the cube. <laughs> yeah! Hey, do you know what a cube is? A cube is kind of like a square. Yeah, kind of like a square, but it's 3D. Whoa! And every side is the same size. Yeah, all six sides. Whoa, are the same! <laughs> Check it out! Whoa! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> this is kind of tricky. Woo. Whoa! Yeah, look! If you see it from this angle, it looks like a diamond. But I bet... Now, it kind of looks like a square. Woo! Yeah, a square! <laughs> Whoa, <laughs> woo, okay, <laughs> I should probably get down from here. Okay, here we go, woo, <laughs> well, that was pretty fun, but I think I need a teacher to help me out a little bit. <laughs> it would probably make it a lot more fun and I could probably do some cool new things. <laughs> hmm. Let's go find someone to give us some tips. an aerial instructor. <laughs> Whoa, she's really good at this. <laughs> oh, maybe she can teach us. <laughs> Let's go ask. <laughs> Hi, I'm Blippi. What's your name? Whoa. Hi, Blippi. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Kimberly. Oh, it's nice to meet you, nice Kimberly. To meet you. <laughs> Whoa, you're really good at aerials. Thank you. Whoa. Oh, well, we were doing some climbing and some spinning <laughs> and some swinging, but do you think you could help us? Uh, can you dance? Oh, I love to dance. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I love to dance. Perfect. Let's do some aerial dance then. Aerial dance? Oh, you mean we can dance, but in the air? That's exactly it. <laughs> yeah, I would love to. All okay. right, grab for your hammock. Okay, here we go. Whoa, <laughs> look at this hammock. It's so big and purple. <laughs> it's like a sail. Yeah. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Woo. <laughs> okay. I have the hammock. Grab for one edge. Bring your thumbs inside. Okay. Fingers, all four of them on each hand. On the outside, slide your hands outside of your hips. Okay. Reach for six handfuls. One, two, three, four, five, six. Perfect. Bring those elbows in, shoulders in. Ooh, okay. Press your fingertips towards the ground. Jump up inside. Whoa, <laughs> check it out. Ooh, we made it in the hammock. Hands up high towards the sky, all the way around the outside of the back. Grab it like a rope on each side. You can walk your legs forward so you're sitting on the very edge of this little ledge. Ooh, nice. And then slide your hands down so you've got it on both sides, just like you'd wear a belt. Ooh, here we go. <laughs> Good job. Yeah. All right, we're gonna go upside down. Are you ready? We get to go upside down? <laughs> yeah, I'm ready. You're gonna take your legs wide, keep your hands still, and then bring your feet together all the way around the front. Okay, here we go. Upside down, blippy, woohoo! Whoa! <laughs> and then take your right foot and your left foot all the way around the outside of the purple fabric Ooh. to the front. Okay. Good job. Whoa. You look fun. good. Yeah. <laughs> thumbs up. Thumbs up. Wait, thumbs down. <laughs> so silly. <laughs> okay. You want to go for a spin? Yeah. Let's do it. Time to spin. <laughs> Don't want to get too dizzy. <laughs> oh, so what should we do next? You want to do a handstand? Yeah. All right. Your fingers come on the floor directly under your shoulders. Tuck your chin to your chest. Look at those toes. Flex your feet. Straighten out your legs. Now straighten out your hands. 
Whoa! Feet towards the sky even more! Handstand! Yeah! Check it out! Whoa, that was fun! You wanna do a no-hand handstand? A no-hand handstand? Sure! All right, straighten out the legs, straighten out the arms! Okay! Hands off! Whoa, check it out! No hands! How stretchy are you? Can you reach to your toes? Reach for those toes! Yeah! Bend your knees! And lift up! Whoa! <laughs> Whoa, we're up so high! But I do have one question. Kimberly, how do we get down? Oh, well that's even more fun. You're gonna reach for both hands on one fabric. Okay. All right, keep that left knee bent, reach the right toes towards the floor, come forward. Yes! And slide those hands down, bend your right knee, grab a hold of your right hand with the right foot. Ta-da! Ta-da! Pigeon drop. Whoa! This is awesome! <laughs> Whoa, check it out! Look at these! <laughs> Whoa! They kind of look like a hammock, but there's not a place to sit. What are these called? This is called an aerial silk. It's like a hammock upside down. Whoa, an upside down hammock? <laughs> That's fun. Well, how do we play with these? You wanna try to climb it? Yeah, that would be great. Okay. You're gonna grab a hold of it. Okay. Yep. <laughs> and I want you to kind of hug the fabric with your legs. So your right leg comes up. Okay. Turn around, give it a giant hug and flex the foot. Okay. You're gonna slide the fabric underneath the toes. Oh, okay. And then you're gonna reach your other foot onto the fabric and kind of hook it like you're crisscrossing. Great, so I pull Crisscross on the one fabric. one toe to the other, yep. Like that. Awesome. It gets easier if you use both hammocks, or uh, both silks. Do you want to try it together? Yeah, okay. We'll try both silks. See if I can climb to the top. Okay. Okay. So. Bring them together, give it like a giant little bear hug, your uh, leg. <laughs> okay, now we take our leg around. That's right. Like this. Yep. Flex our foot. Bring it as high as you can. Even higher. Woo. Even higher. Woo. Good job. And then, up we go! <laughs> Woo! You can go higher. Okay. Whoa! Look how high I am! All the way to the top, Lippy, good job! Whoa! I made it to the top! Whoa, look at how high we are! Everything looks amazing from up here. Okay, I think it's time to come down. Nice and slowly, you're gonna squeeze your legs together and walk your hands down. Work with your legs, not with your hands. Whoa, here I go! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> we made it! Good job! Yeah. Nice landing. Whoa, that was amazing! Oh, you've taught us so many amazing dance moves and how to climb a silk. <laughs> Thank you so much for teaching us today, Kimberly. You're welcome. Uh, well, I'll see you soon, I think. I have all these tools. Now I can do my very own aerial blippy dance. Bye-bye. Bye. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> it's time for some blippy dancing. <laughs> yeah. Kimberly was so helpful and taught us all kinds of dance moves. And now we can take those dance moves and make blippy choreography. Oh, that's kind of a big word. Choreography. <laughs> have you heard that word before? Well. It's just a big fancy word for lots of dance moves put together. <laughs> we can do that. Time to dance! a great day with you today, learning all about aerial arts. <laughs> and we even got to dance to our very own aerial blippy dance. Woohoo! <laughs> well, that's the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Hey, can you spell my name with me? <laughs> great. Okay, here we go. B-L-I P-P-I, Blippi, good job. <laughs> well, I'll see you soon, bye-bye. Woo, <laughs> whoa! Hey, it's 
it's me, Blippi, and look at where we're at. Yeah, today we're at the MK Nature Center in Boise, Idaho. Wow, and this nature center is actually part of the Idaho Fish and Game. Wow, today you and I are gonna learn about some native animals to Idaho. This is gonna be so much fun, let's go. <laughs> Whoa! Oh, hey, who are you? Hi, I'm Nicole. Welcome to our visitor center. Wow, cool. Nice to meet you. I'm Blippi. Whoa. Well, how do you explore this place? So what you want to do is you want to follow the animal tracks along the building, and then you want to go outside onto our nature trail and visit outside. Whoa, cool. Binoculars. Wow, well, thank you so much. Of course. Have fun. See ya. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa! Look at these! Whoa, they look like birds' nests. Wow, there's different types in here. One way up there, and it's really small. Ooh, and one way down here on the ground, but it's really big. Hey, that's interesting. Different types of birds put their nests at different heights. Whoa! Hey, and speaking of differences, look at how neat this one is. Yeah, a bird made that with its very own beak and feet. Whoa! And down here, whoa, this one is made out of feathers. Wow, yeah, they use their own feathers. Whoa, and this one is really sloppy, <laughs> but it definitely still holds eggs. Yeah, birds use nests like a home. Yeah, they lay their eggs in the nest and then the birds hatch. And then the birdies can fly. <laughs> Why don't we head outside and maybe later, maybe we'll find a nest. But let's just go explore. <laughs> Whoa! This place is awesome and it's so much fun following these footsteps. <laughs> Whoa, look up there. Whoa, a big horn sheep. Yeah, I can tell why they call it a big horn sheep. Yeah, because it has big horns. Whoa, and those are actually horns, not antlers. Yeah, horns always stay with the animal, but antlers, yeah, they shed them every single year. Oh, cool, see ya. <laughs> whoa, speaking of antlers, whoa, look at this elk, wow. This is a Rocky Mountain elk. Do you see the antlers? They're so big, whoa, and so pointy too. Yeah, every single year, this elk, yeah, it'll shed its antlers and grow new ones back. Whoa, super cool. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Whoa, check it out. Yeah, a grizzly bear. Whoa, and do you see how big it is? Whoa, it's so fierce. Whoa, and I know it's a grizzly bear because it's brown and it's so big. And oh, another sign is, you see that bump on its back? Yeah, they dig so much that then they grew a bunch of muscle. Yeah, and it has a bump on its back. Yeah, and its head, it even has a little ridge. Yeah, like a snowboard jump. Whoa! <laughs> yeah, but these grizzly bears, they're way up north in Idaho. Yeah, they don't come down here near Boise. <laughs> We're safe here. <laughs> oh, speaking of bears, look at this one. Whoa, this is actually a black bear but it looks like a brown bear or a grizzly bear, doesn't it? Yeah, because it's brown, it's actually a black bear. And black bears can even be brown. Whoa, and they love lots of food. Yeah, they eat meat, ooh, they even eat berries. They might even climb up in the tree and eat some honey. Speaking of honey, do you hear that? Yeah, I think I hear bees. Whoa, let's follow the footsteps and find those bees. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, and look down here. Yeah. Do you see this hole? Yeah, that's where the bees are coming from. Whoa. And those honeybees look like they're just working. And do you see how I'm not getting stung? Yeah, it's because I'm being nice and gentle. I'm respecting them yeah, and I'm giving them some space. I just wanted to say, hello. <laughs> All right, see you later, bees. <laughs> Whoa, nature is amazing. Whoa, look at this. Ooh, looks like we have some owls. 
here. Whoa, look over there. Oh, do you see that? Yeah, it looks like a dam. Yeah, I can tell because there's some water down below. Yeah, and then there's some water up above. I bet some beavers built that dam. Yeah, beavers love to build dams with all those logs and mud and leaves and branches. Yeah, and then they go underneath and then they dig some stuff out and then they make what's called a lodge basically like a home. Whoa, really cool. <laughs> Whoa, look over here, some animals. Whoa, quack, quack, quack. Yeah, those are ducks. Yeah, those are actually mallard ducks to be exact. Whoa, oh yeah, do you see that one? Yeah, it has a green head on it. Yeah, that is a male duck. And the duck that is all brown, that's a female duck. Whoa, so cool. Yeah, ducks love to swim on top of the water. Yeah, and then some dive down underwater to catch some food. Yeah, vegetation on the bottom. And then some stay on top of the water and then just tilt and then eat. Oh, so cool. <laughs> ducks are awesome. <laughs> yeah. Whoa, check it out. Look at this. Whoa, it looks like a giant fish. Whoa, it is so big. Yeah, this is actual size. And this is a sturgeon. Whoa, sturgeons are massive. Whoa, I wonder if I'm as long as a sturgeon. Let me see. <laughs> All right, here we go. <laughs> Am I as long as a sturgeon? No, it was longer than me. Whoa, this is such a big fish. Yeah, sturgeons love to hang out at the bottom. Yeah, underwater. And then they're actually really, really old. Well, not all of them, but they're ancient fish. Sturgeons have been on our planet since the dinosaur times. Whoa, those are some old fish. <laughs> all right, let's see if we can find some more fish. <laughs> Whoa, check it out. Yeah, back there, there's a pond. And then it's full of water, obviously. And there's these glass things right here. So then we can peek underwater into the pond. Come on. <laughs> oh, whoa, yeah, there's fish in there. Whoa, hello. Hey, it's me, Flippy. Whoa, do you see those fish? Yeah, those are called rainbow trout. Whoa, and they're so colorful. Maybe that's why they call them rainbow trout. Yeah, because they look like a rainbow because they're so colorful. Oh, check this out. Whoa, yeah, we have some fish snacks. Whoa, they actually gave me permission that I can feed the fish. <laughs> All right, are you hungry fish? Here you go, yum, yum, yum. Whoa, they're definitely hungry. Whoa, there you go. Whoa, whoa, look at them go. Okay, here's just a little more for you. <laughs> whoa, there's even a duck up there. Do you see it? Hello, duck. <laughs> yeah, that's a mallard. <laughs> hey, here you go. <laughs> cool. <laughs> Check it out! Do you see this? Yeah! This is a bald eagle's nest. Yeah, it's a replica of the largest one ever found in the United States of America. It is so big, huh? Wow, bald eagles are so cool. They come back every single year to the same nest and they keep building and building and building. Hey, remember earlier how we saw all those other nests? Yeah, it's really cool how every bird 
has a different type of nest. Oh, hey, will you act like a bald eagle with me? Yeah. Why don't we keep exploring and maybe we'll be able to meet a real bird? Yeah, let's go! Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, this is so cool! Are you having a great day? <laughs> I am too! <gasps> Whoa, look at what it is! Whoa! Hey, who are you? I'm Mariah. Oh, nice to meet you. I'm Blippi. Who's your friend? This is Wilson. Oh, hey, Wilson. Wow, what a cool looking bird. What kind of bird is Wilson? Wilson is a peregrine falcon. Whoa, a peregrine falcon. Whoa, Wilson looks very fast. How fast does Wilson fly? Wilson can reach speeds of 214 miles per hour. Whoa, 214 miles an hour? Wow, that's about 350 kilometers an hour. Whoa, how old is Wilson? Wilson is seven years old. Whoa, seven, so old. Wow, well, it was nice to meet you, Wilson. And nice to meet you, Mariah. Nice to meet you too, Blippi. All right, see you later. Bye-bye. <laughs> Whoa, <laughs> this has been such a fun day. Whoa, oh, there's a little Tweety bird. Tweet, tweet, tweet. <laughs> cool. Wow, it's been so much fun hanging out in the wilderness with you. Wow, I sure do love nature. Yeah, there's water. Oh, it sounds so nice. Oh, and there's some birds. Wow. <laughs> oh. Whoa, cool. <laughs> Whoa, have you been having fun? <laughs> I've been having so much fun with you too. Wow, I sure do love learning with you. Wow, and we sure did learn a lot today. <laughs> Well, this is the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? Yeah. B-L-I-P-P-I. -P -P -I. Blippi. Good job. All right. See you again. Bye-bye. Whoa. <laughs> hey, it's me, Blippi. And today, we are here at a very special place. Kidzania! <laughs> yeah, Kidzania is a place where kids ages 4 to 14 can come and learn what it's like to be a part of a real city. <laughs> and you and I are gonna learn about different jobs that keep people safe. <laughs> Let's go! Whoa! I can't wait to get to Kidzania, but it's kind of far away, so we need to get there on an airplane! <laughs> oh, I love riding airplanes. <laughs> when you get on, first, you need to put away your luggage. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, then find your seat. Yeah, maybe you're sitting on the aisle. <laughs> <laughs> or maybe in the middle seat. Whoa! <laughs> Hello! Hello! <laughs> maybe by the window. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> well, I love being on an airplane because I love going to new places. And airplanes get you there really fast. <laughs> hey, and have you ever been to the very best part of an airplane? Yeah, the cockpit. That's where the pilot sits. Oh, wait, I think I can see it from here. <laughs> Whoa, check it out! <laughs> Whoa! Do you know what this part of the plane is? Whoa! This is the cockpit! Yeah, this is the front of the airplane where the pilot sits! <laughs> oh, have you ever seen the cockpit of an airplane? Whoa, yeah, <laughs> it's a really cool place. And pilots, they're so nice. <laughs> wow! Oh, look at this. There are a lot of screens and levers and controls and buttons and switches. <laughs> well, it looks like being a pilot is a really tricky job. Oh, you know that one of the jobs you can do at Kidzania is learn to become a pilot. Whoa, <laughs> yeah, that makes sense because there are so many different switches here. <laughs> looks like it. you need a lot of practice for it. 
<laughs> Ooh. Oh, it would be so fun to fly an airplane. Ooh. <laughs> Looks like the plane's getting ready to take off. We better go so the pilot can sit here. <laughs> okay, let's go take our seats. Ooh. Well, the plane's gonna take off soon, so we need to find our seat. <laughs> Whoa, check it out. <laughs> Ooh. Well, this seat has a lot of leg room. <laughs> and can't forget to buckle up. Safety first. <laughs> okay. I think the plane's about to take off. Here we go. <laughs> Ooh, that was one long flight. <laughs> And I'm so excited to go to Kidzania. But first, we need to go through immigration. <laughs> Look at who it is. It's Urbano. <laughs> yeah, Urbano lives here in Kidzania. Yeah, and he speaks the Kidzanian language. <laughs> hi. I mean, hi. <laughs> Urbano, what's that in your hand? It's for me. Ah. <laughs> this is a bank card from the Central Bank of Kidzania. <laughs> That's right, if you work a job here, you get paid in kidzas. <laughs> That's the money of Kidzania. <laughs> I wanna earn a lot of kidzos. <laughs> Whoa, look at this, it has my name on the back. <laughs> B-L-I-P-P-I, Bolippi. This is my bank card. Well, I'm gonna hang on to this for later. <laughs> well, thank you so much, Urbano. I mean, Thank you so much. Bye-bye. <laughs> I can't wait to try some jobs today. And I definitely want to find a job that helps keep the citizens of Kidzania safe. <laughs> Hmm, what is a really interesting and important job that would be a lot of fun and would help keep people safe? Hmm, I know we could be a firefighter! <laughs> Whoa, and check it out! We're here at the Fire and Rescue Training Center in the fire station! <laughs> oh, being a firefighter would be awesome! <laughs> but, hmm, what are the steps to be a firefighter? Well, first, we need to look like a firefighter. <laughs> Check it out. <laughs> look, there is an actual firefighter jacket. <laughs> yeah, we want to put this on. Ooh. And some firefighter pants. <laughs> Here we go. Ooh. One leg, two legs. <laughs> well, you want to make sure it's all zipped up. <laughs> yeah. And can't forget an official firefighter helmet. You see what it says? Captain! <laughs> yeah! Today, Captain Blippi of the Fire Brigade. <laughs> okay, <sighs> now that we look like a firefighter, we need a train. Yeah, to be a firefighter, you have to be really athletic, strong, and brave. First, <laughs> we need to do some running. Will you act like a firefighter with me? <laughs> okay, let's start by running! <laughs> well, running is really good exercise and it's good for your heart. <laughs> well, that's enough running. <laughs> now we need a stretch because if we're climbing up a ladder or saving a kitten from a tree or going into a burning building, we need to be nice and warmed up. <laughs> we'll stretch our arms like this. Then we can touch our toes. Here we go. Touch your toes with me. Whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> That's silly. <laughs> hmm. Well, we look like a firefighter and we're ready and trained to be a firefighter. I think we're still missing one thing. Hmm. That's right. A fire truck. <laughs> Check it out. Whoa. It's an actual Kidzania fire truck! Yeah! <laughs> Whoa! I 
feel like I'm almost a real firefighter now. <laughs> hey, why don't we get in the fire truck and go on patrol? We can see the city, and even though I don't see a fire now, see any trouble, we can help others. Okay, let's do it. Woohoo! <laughs> Here we go. Climb aboard. Oh, look at this city! Whoa, Katsini is so cool! See all these buildings? <laughs> Whoa! Looks like we just went under a bridge. <laughs> Pretty fun being a firefighter. You need to keep your eyes open in case there's any danger. We can save the day. <laughs> but looks like there's no danger now. Just a nice drive through the city. <laughs> There's a fire! We gotta go! Here we go! I don't see anything yet. Keep looking! Whoa! I think the fire's up ahead! <laughs> Good thing we're here to help. <laughs> yeah, we gotta get our hose, and we need to make sure that we spray down all the fire with lots of water. <laughs> The Grand Flamingo Hotel! Oh no! We need to put out the fire! Come on! Whoa! Whoa. <laughs> Good thing we have our fire hoses! Here we go! Whoa! We need to put out all the flames! Woo! <laughs> oh, look at it go! Whoa! Whoa! Not enough water! Woo! Whoa! 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 I think the fire's going away, but we need to keep working. <laughs> Whoa, this is hard work. Whoa, we gotta keep going. <laughs> yeah, we did it. We put out the fire. See, all the fire's gone. That was really fun, but a lot of work. Ooh, a firefighter is really important. <laughs> but good thing we fought the fire and we won. Yeah, all the fire's gone now. And everyone's safe. <sighs> Feels really good to do a good job, especially doing an important job like being a firefighter. <laughs> oh, the fire's back. Whoa, whoa, whoa. This is one hard fire to fight. Woo. For real this time, we put out the fire! Yeah! Oh, great job! <laughs> Woo! We did it! Oh. Being a firefighter is a lot of hard work, <laughs> but really rewarding. Yeah! <laughs> we earned some kidzos, and we saved and helped people. Oh, that was a lot of hard work for those kidzos. <laughs> well, I think it's time to get changed. It's getting a little hot in here. <laughs> We're here at the department store. Can't wait to spend my kids's. <laughs> hmm. Well, what should we get? Hmm. There's a lot of fun things here. <laughs> Ooh, like little pom pom pens. Whoa. <laughs> or maybe. Hmm. Ooh, maybe a ring. Hello. <laughs> oh. Wait a minute. I have an idea. What if we got a present for Mika? <laughs> oh, I bet she'd really like that. <laughs> I know just what to get her. Let's get Mika something that is purple and yellow, her two favorite colors. <laughs> oh, we could get her this yellow frisbee. Hmm, and now we just need something purple. Hmm. Oh, look at this. <laughs> I, I see something purple. I see a purple eye pen. Woo! <laughs> well, I bet Mika will really like these things. <laughs> She's gonna think this is really funny. 
Well, now we just need to pay with our kidzos. Oh, let's go this way. Oh, hello. Hi. <laughs> I'm Blippi, what's your name? My name's Louie. Oh, Louie, can you help me purchase these nice uh, googly eyes and frisbee with some kidzos? Of course I can, can I just have your card? Yeah, of course. Thank you, oh. thank you. Can I just take that? Thank you. Oh, thank you. <laughs> and then that. Thank you very much. That would be a hundred. Oh, okay. Here One you go. more time. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. <laughs> Whoa, we did it! <laughs> bye bye. See you. <laughs> Whoa, this was awesome. <laughs> I had so much fun here at Kidzania. Yeah, it was great being a firefighter, and we got to get some nice gifts for Mika. <laughs> well, that's the end of this video, but if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. <laughs> Hey, can you spell my name with me? Okay, here we go. B L I P P I. Flippy. Good job. Well, I'll see you soon. Bye bye. Woo! in Cochia, Brazil. Wow, this place is awesome because they have so many cute animals that you actually get a pet. Maybe that's why they call it Pet Zoo. And today, you and I, we're gonna learn how to take care of animals. Are you ready? All right, let's go. <laughs> Whoa, did you see that? These two horses were scratching each other. Wait a second, they don't look like horses, do they? They do look like horses, but way smaller. Oh yeah, you're a pony, right? Yeah, these two ponies are actually sisters. Hey, you two are so cute, and they are so soft. Look at this one, this one is white, and this one is brown. Oh, do you two like me? Because I sure do like you. <laughs> Whoa, check it out. Whoa, carrots. Interesting. <laughs> do you like carrots? I do too. And I heard that these ponies love carrots. Shall we see if they're hungry? Oh, here you go. Whoa, are you hungry? Oh, whoa, they are hungry. Whoa, I guess ponies love carrots. Can you think of any other animal that loves carrots? Yeah, maybe one that likes to hop? Yeah, bunnies love carrots. Here you go, here's some more. Oh, they are so nice to each other. I wonder if they like to play with each other. They definitely know how to scratch each other's backs. <laughs> here you go. Aww. <laughs> All right, here you go. Whoa, and did you see this one? Yeah, look right here. Okay, let me turn it side right here. And do you see its hair? Yeah, its mane? Whoa, it's braided. Whoa, it's so cute. Oh, you don't have braided hair, but that's okay. Oh, you want food? Okay, here you go. <laughs> All right, well, let me set this right here and maybe I'll see you later. But if not, have a great day. Bye-bye. <laughs> Come on, let's go. Whoa, check it out. It's so pretty right here. Wait a second, are you thinking what I'm thinking? Yeah, photo shoot. Yeah, this place is awesome. Let's keep exploring. I think I see some more animals. Come on. <laughs> Hello. Whoa, this is a llama. Hey, are you hungry? Because I think I see some food. Come on, come over here. Check it out. Yeah. A big white bucket of llama food. Whoa, here you come. Here, you can come right over here. Whoa, 
Llamas are so cool. Yeah, they actually, whoa, <laughs> okay, patience. <laughs> okay, here you go. Do you see their food? Yeah, they love this stuff. It's so tasty. I'll hold out my hand nice and flat. Whoa, can you see its teeth? Here you go. Whoa, they're so crooked. <laughs> That's okay. Here you go. Is anyone else hungry? Oh, it looks like you have some friends. They don't look as hungry as you. Here you go. Wow, do you see this llama's ears? Very big ears. I bet it can hear very well. Oh, and did you know llamas can spit, but llamas actually do it in defense. Yeah, it's a defense mechanism. Yeah, if they ever get scared or anything like that, they can spit. Whoa, you are so cool. Whoa, and you're so soft. Whoa, that was so much fun. All right, have a good day. Well, shall I keep exploring? Yeah, come on. Whoa, check it out. Now this is a giant bird. This is an ostrich. They're the biggest bird in the whole entire world. Whoa, hey. This, yeah, his name is Romeo. Wow, and he's so tall, even taller than me. And did you know ostriches' brains are so small, they're smaller than their eyes. Wow, they must not be very smart, right? Whoa, but they can run so fast. And did you know ostriches can't fly? Whoa, who would have known? <laughs> wow, we'll see if Romeo is hungry, shall we? Check it out. Whoa, looks like we have some greeny leaves right here. Whoa, and then some pellets. Here you go. All right, Romeo, here you go. You want some pellets? Huh, maybe, here he comes. Okay, what about some green leaves? Here you go. Okay, here you go, Romeo. No, I guess Romeo's not hungry. <laughs> wow, they take care of their pets so well here. Yeah, a great way to take care of animals is to keep them nice and fed. And since Romeo's not hungry, someone must have fed him earlier. <laughs> Whoa, look, that ostrich was big. Now these birds are medium sized. Whoa, two of these are actually younger ostriches. And then two of these are emus. Yeah, yeah, it's a different type of bird, and they're medium sized. Oh, they look so soft, I wish I could pet them. Wow, is anyone hungry? No, no one's hungry again? Whoa, they're taken care of very well here. Whoa, all right, see you later. <laughs> Woo, oh, that was cool. Whoa. Chickens! Wow! Here you go! Hey, chickens! Hey, chickens! Here you go! Are you hungry? Yeah! These chickens look like they're very hungry! Whoa! What about you? Anyone else? Here you go! Whoa! I actually got special permission to go inside with these chickens! Okay, here, I'll be inside real soon, okay? <laughs> Here you go, birds. Wow, they are so cute. Who's hungry? Anyone hungry? Wow, chickens are so cool. Yeah, look at this one. This one is the color brown, and it sure does love this green leaf. Oh, hey, look at you, little cutie pie. Oh, this one's so small, and it's the color white. Here you go. Whoa, I love taking care of animals. <laughs> yeah, you make sure that they have a lot of water, a lot of food. Oh, whoa, and check that out. It looks like the chicken's home. This is called a chicken coop. I'm gonna go inside. <laughs> whoa, yeah, this is the chicken coop. Wow, they love to hang out in here. Oh, and look at this one, just relaxing. Yeah, I wonder if this one's sitting on some eggs. Hey, it's me, Blippi. Ooh, let me set these down right over here. Oh, and we heard, yeah, that one of these is really nice. Maybe it will let me pick it up. There you go. Hey, cutie pie. 
Wow! Look at it! Whoa! This is a small chicken. You are so cute. Whoa! Do you see it has some red on its face? Yeah, and it's black and white. Okay, I'll set you down, okay? I hope you have a great day. <laughs> Whoa! Here you go. Okay, see you later. Oh, let me pick these up and let's keep exploring. Let's see what else we can find here. <laughs> oh, that was so much fun seeing that chicken coop. Yeah, whoa, check it out. This doesn't look like a chicken coop. This actually looks like where humans live. Yeah, this is called a pawapiki. Yeah, this is a traditional Brazilian house. Whoa, I'm so curious to see what it's like. Let's go! <laughs> Whoa! It's so cool in here! Yeah, Pawapiki? Yeah, that means clay and wood. Yeah, do you see this? It's made with clay and sticks, tree branches. Whoa, even maybe stumps too. Then you combine it all and it makes the house nice and strong. It is very nice in here. Wow, Power Peaky House. Wow, what a cool name and what a cool house. Yeah, you can do so much in here without electricity. Power Peaky House Music Party. That was really fun. Well, I should probably put these back where I found them. Oh, hey, check it out. Yeah, this is the stove. How do you make heat if you don't have electricity? Fire. Yeah, you can build a fire, which then you can say boil water and make some nice tea and have a tea party. Yum. <laughs> oh, and look at this. Wow, what a cool device. This you can use to make cheese. Whoa, cheese please. Whoa. It is so cool how people can make so much with no electricity. Oh, well, shall I keep exploring the pet zoo? <laughs> Let's go. This has been so much fun today. And do you see what that says? It says farmhouse. Yeah, let's see what lives inside this house. Whoa, whoa, check it out. It looks like we have some animals. Hey, hey, hey. and actually they left me some food to feed them. Whoa, this is gonna be nice. Speaking of nice, wow, what a great farmhouse. Hey, let me put this on. Oh, there we go. All right, hey, whoa, did you see that? Yeah, it looked like a goat. Oh, maybe I can bring them out here so then you can see. Here they come. Hey, goats. Hey, it's me, Blippi. Are you hungry? Oh, there you go. Yum. Whoa. I should probably go inside, right? Whoa. Okay. They gave me special permission to be able to come inside here. Okay. Hey, goats. Whoa. How are you? Whoa, they are so cool. Yeah, it looks like there's whoa, so many. Whoa. Hey, here's one right here. Hey, are you hungry? Whoa, how are you? Oh, you are so cute. Yeah, it's the color white. Oh, it has a little black on its head and brown. Whoa. And they said this one actually likes to get picked up. Yeah. <laughs> You are so cute. This is a baby goat and it is so soft. And look how big its ears are. I bet they can hear very well. Oh, okay. I'll set you down nice and gently. Here you go. All right, see you later. Whoa, that farmhouse was so cool. I love taking care of all these animals. <laughs> Whoa, speaking of animals. Whoa, look at this. Yeah, hey, 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 looks like a big cow, right? Whoa, uh, this is actually a bull. I know it's a bull because of its antlers. Wait a second, it doesn't have antlers. 
it has horns. Do you see that? The difference between antlers and horns are antlers fall off of the animal. But bulls, they have horns. These stay on the bull its whole life. Oh, are you hungry? Oh, he's so big. Here you go. You want some food? Whoa! Oh, I felt his tongue. Oh, you are so cool. And do you see his teeth? Here you go. Whoa! Whoa! Hey! Whoa! Can I pet you? Oh, wow. His nose feels so nice. Whoa, what about your head? Oh, do you like pets? Yeah, some animals to take care of them. Yeah, you want to pet them and love them. Ooh, and you can even brush them. Yeah, some animals like pets. Some animals don't like pets. But this bull loves pets, right? Whoa! Or are you just hungry? Another way to take care of animals. Yeah! Give the animal some food. Whoa! Whoa! It's so slobbery. Every time I put my hand, yeah, for food, yeah. He licks it with his tongue and pulls it in. And it gets my hand all slobbery. <laughs> all right, see you later. It was fun taking care of you today. You are so cute. Whoa, do you like the pets? Oh, are you wagging your tail? Are you cute? Okay, see you later. <laughs> Look right here! Yeah! Remember earlier how I said you have to take care of the pens? Yeah! Looks like someone took care of these pens, made sure it's nice and clean. <laughs> Whoa! Hey! Another animal! Whoa! Ooh, this is a jumento. Here you go. Oh, are you hungry? Wow, doesn't it look like a donkey? Whoa, and the Jumentos. Yeah, their cheese made from their milk is some of the most expensive cheese in the whole wide world. Okay, see you later. Yeah, I heard there's some real donkeys right over here. Wow, Jumentos and donkeys? Yeah, they're related to each other. But these, yeah, they're donkeys. Hey, whoa, are you too hungry? Hey, do you see how big its ears are? Oh, here you go. Oh, do you want a nice snack? What about pets? You like the pet? Did you see how I didn't love to get pet? Yeah, that's okay. <laughs> I don't have to pet you. Or maybe he's just pulling away because he's actually hungry. Yeah, sometimes they might actually really like pets. But right now, maybe this one just wants a bunch of food. Yum, 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 yum. Oh, yeah, and this one's the color brown. And this one is also the color brown. Hey, ooh, you have some white on your face. Ooh, and I actually heard, yeah, this donkey's name is Juka. Yeah, you know my good friend Juka? Whoa, you two have the same name. Ooh, Juka, you love pets, don't you? You do, you do, do you? <laughs> And you also love food. Here you go. Wow, and their pen looks nice and clean. Wow, you are taken care of very well. I love taking care of animals. <laughs> All right, see you later, Yuka. Bye-bye. <laughs> Whoa, check it out. Here at Pet Zoo, they even have a playground. Whoa, I do love playing. All right, first thing I should do is probably take off my shoes, right? Oh, will you count my shoes with me? Ready? <laughs> Here's one. All right. And two. One, two. I have two shoes. Okay, let me put it right in here in those cubbies. And now it's time to play. Whoa, look at this. Looks like you climb inside. Whoa, whoa. Whoa, it's pretty wobbly. Whoa, whoa, look at how high I am up here. A big blue slide. I love slides. Okay, here I come. Whoa, whoa. I got a little stuck. Not the fastest slide, but that's okay. It was still fun. Come on. Whoa, I should probably grab my shoes. But over here, there's another fun thing to do. Come on. Whoa, cool, a 
trampoline. Oh, and it's so colorful. Woohoo! Yeah! I love trampolines. Hey, since we're learning about how to take care of animals today, why don't you guess which animal I'm thinking of? One that really likes to jump. Yeah, it can put its babies in its pouch right here. And you find a lot of them in Australia. Woohoo! Yeah! Look at me! I'm a kangaroo! Will you jump like a kangaroo with me? Woohoo! Yeah! Woo! Boing! 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 <laughs> okay, I have another animal for you to guess. Okay? A lot of them are green around the world, but here in Brazil, yeah! They're so colorful! And they're actually pretty poisonous. And the sound that these animals make is... Ribbit! Ribbit! Yeah! A frog! And here in Brazil, they even have colorful poison dart frogs! Woohoo! Ribbit! 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 Whoa! Frogs are so cool! I've had so much fun today! Whoa! Whoa! I should probably put on my shoes. I think I'm all done playing. All right, here's one shoe. And then, here's two shoes. Wow, did you have fun with me? Yeah, I had fun with you too. I really enjoy taking care of animals. And I also love to play. Yeah! Whoa, check it out. Some water. I'm still super tired from playing. All that jumping and climbing, yeah, like animals. Oh, it's very important ah, to hydrate. Oh, today was so much fun taking care of all those animals. I sure do love animals, and it makes me so happy knowing that you love animals and you take care of all the animals. And if you have pets, you make sure that they're nice and healthy and happy. Oh, mm. Well, this was so much fun. And if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Please spell my name with me. Ready? <laughs> E-L-I-P-P-I, -P -P -I. Blippi. Good job. All right, see you again. This has been so much fun in Brazil. Bye-bye. <laughs> mail time, it's Blippi mail time, it's mail time, it's Blippi mail, <laughs> hey, it's Blippi mail time. <laughs> yeah, my favorite part of the day is checking to see if I got mail. <laughs> Ooh, let's see. Whoa, check it out. Mail! <laughs> oh, let's see if I got any letters. Oh, oh. <gasps> check it out! Someone wrote me a letter. <laughs> it says, Dear Blippi, my name is Jacob. I have a little sister named Ava. <laughs> we love to watch your videos. I hope you're having a good summer. Love, Jacob! Aw, <laughs> that's so nice! Hey, maybe we should be nice too and write a letter back to Jacob. <laughs> but I don't know what we'll need to write a letter and send it in the mail. Hmm. But look, I got another piece of mail. <gasps> it's a blippy mail clue. Maybe this can help us learn how to write a letter and send it in the mail. It says, to write a letter that's sure to impress, first get creative and make a mess. <laughs> well, the first step to writing a letter is getting creative and making a mess. <laughs> and I know just where to go. <laughs> I just love riding my bicycle. <laughs> yeah, riding a bike can be lots of fun. But don't forget the most important part. You want to wear your knee pads, your elbow pads, and a helmet. Hop on your bike, it's got training wheels to help you balance right.
excited to write a letter for Jacob. And we have a clue. <laughs> to write a letter that's sure to impress, first get creative and make a mess. <laughs> and today we're here at Maker's Mess in Los Angeles, California. <laughs> hmm, I think they'll have everything we need inside. Come on. <laughs> This place it's so big and colorful <laughs> and there are a lot of interesting things here different crafts cards <laughs> this will be a perfect place to get really creative maybe make a mess and write an amazing letter for Jacob <laughs> oh and there's a person here let's say hello <laughs> Oh, hi, I'm Blippi. What's your name? Hi, I'm Michelle. Oh, it's nice to meet you, Michelle. <laughs> well, I'm on a mission. <laughs> yeah, I'm here to write a letter for my good friend Jacob, but I want to make it really special, colorful, and big. Think you can help me? You came to the right place. Let's get started. <laughs> yeah! Whoa, check it out! <laughs> Michelle, there's so much paper here. <laughs> Whoa, we can definitely make a cool card out of this. Hmm. Well, what color should I choose? Uh, I really like yellow. Whoa, yellow. Ooh, I like it too. <laughs> Look, yellow paper, green paper. Ooh. Blue. Blue. <gasps> Orange. Orange paper. <laughs> but I think we should make this card out of yellow. Yeah. Hmm, my friend Jacob, he wrote me a letter. He wanted me to have the best summer ever. Yeah, and yellow kind of reminds me of summer. So bright and the color of the sun. <laughs> yes, it is. Do you want to decorate it? Oh, yeah, that would be awesome. Okay, so what do we have to decorate it with? Here are some supplies. Whoa, <laughs> look, crayons. Oh, yeah, we can draw on our card. Whoa, we can go swirls. <laughs> Whoa, or maybe we're at the beach for summer. Yeah, we're enjoying some waves. Whoa, <laughs> a lot of waves. Whoa. <laughs> hmm, maybe glitter glue? Ooh, glitter glue. Here we go. Whoa, Whoa. <laughs> Whoa that's a lot of glitter. <laughs> we can also add Ooh. paper. Whoa, maybe we can Tear use the paper. And Ooh, look, some pom-poms. <laughs> and we can use the glitter glue to put all these pom-poms paper on our card. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, Michelle, you're good at that. I love these pom-poms. I have an idea. <laughs> Let's put some more on. Whoa. <laughs> and then we can make it rain pom-poms. We can <laughs> even make it rain more glitter. <gasps> Check it out. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Here we go. I think they're stuck. <laughs> Whoa. Well, we have green pom-poms. Maybe we need some yellow pom-poms and blue pom-poms. I think so. You can take the blue and I'll take the yellow. Here we go. Whoa! Oh my God. Whoa. This is one colorful and sparkly letter. Whoa. Next, I think what hmm. we need to do is fold it like a card. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's fold it in half. Well, Blippi, don't you want to have the decoration on the outside so then you can write on the inside? Oh, yeah, that makes That's sense. That's okay. <laughs> Here, we'll flip it the other way. Uh-oh. <laughs> We're going to have to put some of those pom-poms back on. That's okay. Yeah, when you're making a craft, it can get really messy, and that's the fun of it. <laughs> Whoa. Here we go. <laughs> Whoa. Okay. Hmm. Let's see if we can stick some of these pom-poms back on. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, there was eleven. Eleven. <laughs> Whoa, this is looking good, but I think we need to put just a few more decorations on it. Do you know what always reminds me of the beach? Hmm. The sun, which we can cut out of this. Whoa. Hmm. Do we have any scissors? We do. Whoa. These. <laughs> and Whoa. these. Whoa, and remember, if you're ever using scissors or something sharp, you always want to ask a grown-up. <laughs> but look at these, yeah, 
See, the scissors, teeth, all different shapes. So when you cut it, <laughs> it makes it really wiggly. <laughs> Let's make the best sun ever. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Uh-oh, <laughs> the pom-poms fell off, but that's okay. We still have a lot of sequins, and we have a sun. <laughs> I think this is gonna be the perfect card for Jacob! <laughs> Whoa! Check it out! <laughs> Our card decoration looks great, yeah, <laughs> but it's blank. Yeah, we need to write a letter for Jacob, hmm. and I know just what to say. <laughs> okay, hmm, here we go. I'm gonna use a purple crayon. <laughs> Dear Jacob, thank you for your letter. I am having a great summer. I hope you and Ava have a great summer, winter, spring, and autumn. Your friend, <gasps> wait. Do you want to know how to write your name in a fancy way? Oh, I would love to! Yeah, you have to sign your name at the end of a letter, but if I could do it in a fancy way, <laughs> I think it would make it extra special for Jacob and Ava. B-L-I-P-P-I! -I. Blippi! <laughs> Whoa! Well, we finished the letter to Jacob, and we decorated the outside, so I think we're almost done, but we're missing one thing. Hmm. An envelope! Oh yeah! When you send a letter, you need an envelope. Yeah, you don't want to just send a letter because maybe your decorations might get messed up. <laughs> you don't want that. And an envelope has the address. Okay. <laughs> hmm. Which There's one? a brown envelope. Hmm. I like this. But this is a really big orange envelope. <laughs> and since orange is one of my two favorite colors, I think this will be perfect. <laughs> Okay, here we go. Open up the envelope. Ooh, thanks, Michelle. You're welcome. And put in the letter. Whoa! <laughs> Ooh. There we go. <laughs> well, we finished the letter, we have an envelope, and I even signed my name in a really fancy way. <laughs> but I feel like we need to do something super special for Jacob. I wish there was something fun we could make to put in the envelope. Hmm. <laughs> I know a craft we could make. Oh, a craft! <laughs> that would be awesome! Okay. I'll show you the way. <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> Come on! <laughs> Whoa! I am so excited to make a craft to put into the envelope. But Michelle, what are we gonna make? We're gonna make a string illustration. Whoa, check it out! <laughs> it's so pretty! Yeah, illustration is just a really big name for drawing. But we're gonna use String! Whoa! <laughs> so, what do we need to make this string illustration? We need string, Ooh. glue, scissors, <laughs> and a piece of paper to glue it onto. Oh, it's also colorful! Well, first, let's pick out a sheet of paper. Hmm, green, blue, red? Hmm, what color do you like? I like green. Okay, <laughs> let's use the green then. Whoa, we have enough string for sure. <laughs> Whoa, look at it all. <laughs> string party. <laughs> okay, so we have a lot of string, but now we need to put it on the paper. Hmm, and we need to decide what are we gonna make? Hmm. 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 Maybe it could be something orange. Maybe it could be something fun and blippy. Hmm. What do you think we should make? Glasses! <laughs> yeah! Let's make a string illustration of blippy glasses. Okay? <laughs> so Yay. we're gonna need a lot of orange string. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and we have a lot of other string too that we can use for maybe a background or a flower <laughs> or fun decorations. Um, so what do we do first? Draw with the glue. Ooh! <laughs> okay, so I got some glue and let's draw a picture of my glasses. Check it out! Blippy glasses! <laughs> yeah! Whoa. <laughs> okay, and now that we have the glue, we can start making it. Yeah! <laughs> All you gotta do is just place it on top. Whoa, you're really good at that. Oh, 
great teamwork. Look, Whoa. I started it. And, and I ended it. it. <laughs> that was great. <laughs>
and we want to be very gentle because stamps, they're delicate, right? Yes, they are. Okay. You have to be careful. Ooh, is that a little pony? Yes. Or a little horse? Yeah, a pony. Whoa, look, we picked up the pony stamp and we didn't use our hands because that could damage the stamp. Yeah, we don't want to do that. I'm just going to put it back there. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> you'll, let, you'll let me do that. Okay, yeah. <laughs> there we go. Well, and Bill, what's that over there? This is a magnifying glass. Oh. You can look at a stamp and see a close-up. Whoa, yeah, stamps can be so you, small. <laughs> you can see the details. Yeah, sometimes they're hard to read, but other times you can find little flaws on the stamps that make it more valuable. Whoa, that's so interesting. So if you have a, a magnifying glass, it's easier to spot that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Oh, can I see some of your other stamps? Yes, here we go. Oh, look, <laughs> little bunnies. It's a puffin. <laughs> yeah. Whoa, and what are those over here? These are some airmail stamps from Greece issued about 1930. Whoa, Very 1930. beautiful set, very beautiful. Whoa, airplanes, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's so cool. You could have a mail delivered by airmail and have a stamp of an airplane on it. <laughs> that's fun. <laughs> Whoa. And are there some other stamps too we could see? There's some more over here. It's stamps of birds? Yes. And it has someone's name on it. Well, that's the man who designed the cachet. That's the picture on the stamp. He's a friend of mine and he autographed it for me. Ooh. And then he made this fantastic <laughs> envelope that opens out with all the birds on it. And these are his caricatures. He's a cartoonist and he does the cachets, which is the picture. Whoa, that's amazing. Yeah, those are American songbirds. They're birds that like to sing. La, 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 la. <laughs> yes, indeed. <laughs> and it's so cool to know that there are different artists, and designers that help make stamps. <laughs> Seems like a hard job. <laughs> yes. Whoa, that's pretty cool. Well, Bill, I have a letter that I was trying to mail and I need a stamp. Do you think you have a stamp for me? I do. I do. You can't use these, but mm -hmm. you you could use another stamp that I have. Yeah, you don't want to use a stamp that's valuable or really old. Mm -mm. <laughs> you can just use new stamps for that. <laughs> yeah. Oh, hey, look, some stamps. <laughs> Here we go. Here's some stamps. You can use this, ah. those stamps to mail your letter. Ah, thanks, Bill. <laughs> You're welcome. Some stamps. See what it says. A mailbag takes letters the rest of the way, find its hideout, look around in the place where you play. Hmm, that's a pretty tricky clue, but I'm sure we can figure it out. <laughs> well, Phil, thank you so much for showing me your collection and teaching me all about stamps. <laughs> You're welcome. Okay, I'll see you Glad later. To talk to you. <laughs> Woo, let's go. <laughs> Still looking for the mailbag. Yeah, that clue was pretty tricky. Hmm, a mailbag takes letters the rest of the way. Yeah, we need the mailbag. <laughs> find its hideout, look around in the place where you play. What we need to find a mailbag in a hideout that is a place where you play. <laughs> well, today we're here at Hideout Indoor Playground in Thousand Oaks, California. Hideout Indoor Playground? <laughs> Hey, that's a hideout where you play. Hmm, <laughs> I bet we can find a mailbag in here. <laughs> I can't wait to start exploring. But before we go inside, we need to take off our shoes. <laughs> oh, and check it out. There are some cubbies here. Yeah, look, the little hedgehog. <laughs> okay, here we go. One shoe, two shoes. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Oh, and I almost forgot, we rode a bicycle here. So we have on knee pads and our elbow pads. So we need to take those off too. <laughs> Whoa, 
Whoa! Okay, now we're all ready to go inside. Oh. I need to find a mailbag. Come on! <laughs> Whoa, look at this place. <laughs> it's so cool. Yeah, look, these little buildings look like a real hideout. <laughs> Maybe for a secret agent or a spy or a really great place to play hide and seek. <laughs> Come on! Oh, look at what it is. <laughs> Aw, look, it's a cute little pony. Hello. <laughs> hey, did you know that ponies used to deliver mail too? Yeah, on the Pony Express. <laughs> Ooh, let's go for a ride. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Ooh, I'll leave my letter with the pony. <laughs> I'll see you later, pony. Ah. <laughs> Whoa, and do you see what this is? <laughs> Whoa, it's so sparkly. Ooh, and it's smooth. Oh, I know what this is. This is a dance floor. <laughs> you know what I love to do? Dance party. Wow! <laughs> Ooh, and you know what goes really good with dance parties? Music! Oh, do you see what's behind me? <laughs> yeah, musical instruments. Hmm, maybe we can go play them. <laughs> Whoa, look at it. All these instruments. Yeah, they're percussion instruments. <laughs> <laughs> and they're really loud. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah, these are called percussion instruments. Yeah, a percussion instrument is an instrument that you make noise by hitting it. <laughs> Whoa, and these make a lot of noise. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah, you see, I'm using drumsticks to play the drum kit. <laughs> yeah, a drum kit is really special because it has all kinds of drums. Well, yeah, four drums on this one, and it has cymbals. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Ooh. Whoa! And look at these. Yeah, we have medium sized drums, we have Big drums <laughs> Ooh, and teeny tiny drums. Yeah, these drums you play with your hands. <laughs> Whoa, yeah, and they all sound so different. Yeah, the big drum is really low. <laughs> the medium drum is pretty medium. And the tiny drum is really high! Oh! <laughs> Ooh, drums are fun. <laughs> Wait a minute. What's this doing here? Whoa. Hmm. <laughs> Do you know what instrument this is? Hmm. <laughs> yeah. This is a little piano. Whoa! You can use your fingers to hit the keys of the piano and it makes different notes. <laughs> yeah, and the piano, it's near all the drums because did you know that pianos are percussion instruments too? Yeah, because you use your hands and you hit the keys. little mailbox. Ooh, it's so small and cute. Ooh, let's see if there's some mail inside. Whoa, look, it's really colorful mail. Hmm, there's orange, 
green, yellow, blue, <laughs> hmm, that's kind of like a reddish color, and pink. <laughs> oh, well, we better keep those in the mailbox. Oh, and look at this. <laughs> Looks like someone's trying to send a little car in the mail. <laughs> Oh, and guess what that mailbox is in front of? <laughs> a little house. A little mailbox for a little house. <laughs> Whoa, and look at this. There are numbers on the house. Yeah, that's the first part of an address. Yeah, you need the street name and the number. You say the numbers with me. One, two, three. This house is so tiny. Oh. A little chair and a little house. Ooh. A little unicorn in a little house. <laughs> Whoa, that's so cool. This is such a little place with so many little things. Ooh, look, you have such a nice horn, unicorn. <laughs> I'll see you later. <laughs> Whoa, come on. <laughs> Whoa, look, it's the hideout. Bet the mailbag's in there. Well, let's go find out. <laughs> oh, here we go. Whoa! I don't see it anywhere. Hmm. <laughs> Whoa, check it out. Slides. A yellow slide and a red slide. <laughs> Whoa, let's go down the really fast red one. Here we go. Whee! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Check it out. You see what this is? It's a helicopter. No way. <laughs> you see what it is under the slide? Whoa. <laughs> it's a pirate ship. Whoa. <laughs> Oh, and it has the anchor, so it doesn't move around when it's in the sea. <laughs> Whoa! Hey, did you know that some mail is transported by boats? Whoa! Whoa, look! Trains! Oh, you see what it is? It's a rock wall! <laughs> and there's some ropes. I think we can do it. Let's climb to the top. Here we go! Hello! Whoa! Look, the hideout has a steering wheel. Hmm, I didn't know you could drive a hideout. Ring! <laughs> Woo! Beep, doo, beep, boop, beep, boop, 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 boop. <laughs> so silly. <laughs> Whoa! Check it out! We're here in a food truck. I can wash my hands and cook some yummy food. <laughs> Oh, here's your change. <laughs> oh, it's time to go deliver some more food. Dinosaurs! <laughs> Look, it's a T-Rex. <laughs> and do you know what dinosaur this is? Hmm. It's a triceratops, <laughs> yeah, because it has one, two, three horns. <laughs> Uh-oh, look at what happened. Oh no, the dinosaurs broke the railroad tracks. <laughs> but that's okay, I think they were just playing. <laughs> oh, and we can put it back together. Hmm. We just need all the pieces. <laughs> one piece, hmm, and two piece. And, ooh, <laughs> we fixed it, <laughs> yeah. And maybe the dinosaurs, they wanna go for a ride. Here we go. <laughs> Whoa, <laughs> look at him go. <laughs> Woo, <laughs> so silly. <laughs> Whoa, it's another dinosaur. <laughs> Just kidding, this is a friendly dinosaur. <laughs> hey, do you have a favorite kind of dinosaur? Whoa, 
Whoa, I like that one too. <laughs> hey, I have an idea. Let's act like dinosaurs together. Do you know what sound a dinosaur makes? <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Let's roar together. <laughs> hmm, I think we can roar a little louder than that. Are you ready? Here we go! <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, those were some really great and really loud roars. <laughs> but wait a minute, dinosaurs, they don't read the mail. Hmm. <laughs>
This isn't an airplane yet. Hmm. Hmm. Ooh, I know what to do. Yeah. First, we fold it in half. Yeah. Then we make the wings. So we take this part, we fold it down. Then we take this part, fold it down again. <laughs> Whoa! This paper airplane is gonna fly so well and so fast. <laughs> okay. Then you want to press it so it's nice and folded. <gasps> Whoa! <laughs> Look at it! It's a paper airplane. Yeah. When you throw it, you want to throw it really fast. <laughs> yeah. It flies through the sky. Mm. And I have a special trick that I like to do with all the airplanes that I make. Yeah. If you make an airplane like this, it will go flat. But if you take the ends of the airplane, four little rips. One, two, three, four. <laughs> yeah. And then this flap goes down and this flap goes up. <laughs> Whoa, check it out. <laughs> yeah, this plane looks so fast. And you see these little flaps we made? <laughs> yeah, this plane's gonna do a really good job of spinning. Whoa. <laughs> Yeah, that's pretty cool. <laughs> oh, that reminds me. Yeah, airplanes are really good at flying. And because they can travel so fast, they're also really good at delivering and carrying the mail. Yeah, these can carry mail. It's called air mail. <laughs> yeah, actually, did you know that mail, it can travel on a car or a truck or a boat? or on a plane. <laughs> yeah, there are all different ways that you can deliver the mail. <laughs> Ooh. Whoa, <laughs> look at what it is. It's the map of the world and it's so big <laughs> and colorful. <laughs> Europe is orange, Asia is blue. <laughs> My two favorite colors. <laughs> and do you notice anything special about this map? <laughs> Animals! <laughs> yeah, there are so many kinds, like dolphins. <laughs> Whoa, look! Do you know what animal this is? It has a really long neck. <laughs> a giraffe! Woohoo! Yeah, there are animals that live all over the world, and people that live all over the world too. What if you wanted to send a letter all the way from Australia? <laughs> to the United States. Whoa, that would be a really long trip. <laughs> yeah, there are so many ways to transport mail. One is with an airplane. Air mail. <laughs> but did you know that mail can travel in so many different ways? Yeah, there could be a mail carrier driving a car. <laughs> or mail on a train or even on a boat. <laughs> yeah because there are a lot of oceans. <laughs> but airmail is the fastest way for mail to travel. <laughs> you just need to know where to send it. From Africa to Asia. From Asia to Europe. To South America. <laughs> oh, that's pretty cool. <laughs> I like all ways to transport mail, but airmail certainly is the fastest. my paper airplane and look at what it is. <laughs> it's a mailbag. <gasps> Blippi's mail. <laughs> Whoa, this is what we were looking for. <laughs> and if this is a mailbag, that means this is the mail room. <laughs> Bet there's lots of mail here. Whoa, look at it. <laughs> there is so much mail here. It's so colorful. <laughs> Well, in a mail room, there's so much mail that it needs to be sorted. <laughs> um, hmm, how do you think we could sort this mail? Hmm, there aren't any addresses on it. We can sort it by color. <laughs> we need to put all the yellow together, all the green together, all the blue, orange, pink, red. <laughs> sort all the colors, okay? Super blippy sorting powers, go! <laughs> 
Here we go. <laughs> Let's start with blue. Now yellow. <laughs> Don't want to forget green. <laughs> There's purple and pink. Now this reddish color. <laughs> We're almost done. <laughs> and last but not least, orange. <laughs> Whoa, we sorted all the mail. Whoa, and this is certainly a lot of mail. Yeah, and look, we have numbers and letters. Yeah, so you can put an address on all the mail so the mail carrier knows where to take it. <laughs> Whoa, and stamps. <laughs> Whoa, and look. The crayon, so you can write a letter. <laughs> Dear Blippi, thanks for being so silly. Woo! <laughs> well, well, now that we've sorted all the letters, we need to put it in the mailbag so they can be delivered. <laughs> okay, here we go. <gasps> this was a lot of letters. <laughs> <sighs> I'm getting really tired from all this sorting. <laughs> okay, we have our letters. Now let's put it back in the mailbag. <laughs> No way! <laughs> you wouldn't believe what's inside! Oh, clue number four! <laughs> Let's read the clue. Oh. With all that you need for a very fine letter, your friend needs their mail. Will you send or deliver? Hmm. Wait a minute. Yeah, letters normally go in a mailbox. <laughs> kind of like this. Whoa! <laughs> Look at it! <laughs> has my name on it too, Blippi Mail. <laughs> we could put the letters in the mailbox. But wait a minute, I have a mailbag. Well, because I have this mailbag, maybe I don't want to send the letters. Maybe I want to deliver the letters. <laughs> yeah, today I want to be a mail carrier. Oh yeah, whoa. <laughs> yeah, we can use our bike and our mailbag. We can deliver it ourselves. <laughs> I'm so excited to deliver this letter. Oh, <laughs> it's so big. <laughs> okay, <laughs> let's go. Woohoo! <laughs> Woohoo! Let's go. <laughs>
Yeah, we did it. We made it to Jacob and Ava's house. We have the right address. <laughs> hmm, but now we need to find where to put the letter. Hmm. <laughs> oh. What are you doing, Blippi? Oh, hi, Jacob. Hi, Ava. Hi, Blippi. Look who it is. It's Jacob and Ava. Hi. <laughs> oh, Jacob and Ava, look. I wrote this letter just for you, and I was trying to put it in the letter box, but it's so big. Hmm. Why don't you just give it to us? Oh, <laughs> that's a great idea. Here you go. <laughs> And I wanted to say thank you so much for the letter you wrote to me. I had such a good time reading it. <laughs> you're welcome. Aw, you're welcome too. Well, I'll see you soon, okay? Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. <laughs> Woo! Mom, we got a letter from Blippi! <laughs> Whoa! I had so much fun learning all about mail. And it's so amazing how mail can travel. Yeah, you can send a letter and it can go all the way around the world! <laughs> yeah, and writing a letter is really fun too. Yeah, you can get creative and decorated, even make a mess. <laughs> hey, maybe you would like to write a letter today. You could write it to a friend or a relative. Ooh, just don't forget to write their name, address, and put a stamp on it. <laughs> well, that's the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Hey, can you spell my name with me? <laughs> okay, here we go. B-L-I-P-P-I. -P -P -I. Blippi, good job. <laughs> well, I'll see you soon. Bye-bye. We're going to celebrate our best friends' day for Valentine's Day. <laughs> <laughs> and I have something cool for you, Blippi. Oh, well, what is it? Best friend coupons for us to do fun things together. Aw, that is so sweet. Thank you, Mika. Happy Valentine's, <laughs> Oh, well, Mika, kind of funny because I made you some coupons too. <laughs> Look 
what's in the center. A stage! <laughs> <Whoa>! <laughs> okay, I'm gonna ride on the blue one because it's one of my two favorite colors. <laughs> Today is Valentine's Day. Let's laugh the day away. I love to sing some songs to you because you're my best friend, Blue. <laughs> Happy Valentine's Day, friend. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Spin your coupons and I'll sing to you about orange and blue. Let's play pretend. Yeah! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Mika, that was so much fun! Thank you, Pal. You such a nice singing voice. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 
One yummy ice cream cone, Mika. Mm -hmm. But this isn't actually the treat that I saved for you. Huh? I have another ice cream cone for you right over there. Really? <laughs> yeah. <gasps> Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> this is one big ice cream cone. <laughs> and remember, ice cream is a sometimes treat. Yeah. And always after you eat dinner and your fruits and vegetables. <laughs> But we've already had our fruits and vegetables, so we're gonna have some ice cream. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh, here, mm. I can hold it. There you go. <laughs> hey, where did Blippi go? Blippi? Blippi! Woo! <laughs> here I am! <laughs> that was one heavy ice cream cone. Thanks for the ice cream, friend. <laughs> yeah, you're welcome. Well, I think it's time I try to spend another coupon. Yeah. It says, Mika, We'll race you! Yeah. I really love fast. racing. <laughs> and you are really fast. Mm -hmm. But where should we race to? To the slides. Okay, to the end of the slides. On your mark. Get set. Go! Go! Hello! <laughs> I think Mika went that way. Woo! <laughs> we tied! Yeah! yeah. Well, Mika, you went really fast down that yellow slide. And you were super fast down the purple slide. Wait a minute. Yellow and purple. <gasps> My two favorite colors. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, I think we all have one last coupon. Yeah, I have one last coupon. Oh, let's see what it says. Hmm. Let's read it at the exact same time. <laughs> one big friendship hug. hug. Yeah. Woo. Ah. Woo. Here we go. <laughs> oh, thank you so much for celebrating Friendship Valentine's oh, Day with me. Oh, it was 
awesome. We did so many nice things for each other. Mm -hmm. That's what friends are for. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, that's the end of this video, but if you want to watch more of our videos, all you have to do is search for my name. <laughs> Can you spell my name with us? Okay, here we go. B-L-I. P-P-I! Flippy! Good job! <laughs> Will you spell my name with us? Yeah! M-E-E-K-A-H! Mika! <laughs> well, we'll see you real soon! Happy Valentine's Day! Happy Valentine's Day! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Whoa! Woo! Wow! Oh, Mika! Cool! Yeah, this room is filled with different art pieces! <laughs> yeah, check it out! Here, do you want one? Oh, yeah, thank you. Wow, unicorn mugs. These are so cool. Oh, cheers. <laughs> Yum. Oh, there we Whoa. go. Oh. Nice and gentle. Yeah, there we go. Whoa, check it out. Cool. Whoa. Cars. Mine is blue. Yeah, and mine is red. Oh. So cool that you can even make cars out of clay. Yeah, awesome. Oh, oh. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, baby. Well, this pottery is so cool. New pottery is an art piece that's made out of baked clay. Yeah, or other types of stoneware. Yeah, it's really cool because it starts soft and squishy and then it ends up like this. It's nice and oh, hard. Yeah. Oh, cool. Hey, look at this. Whoa. Oh, I'm being very careful when I hold these. Good job. Yeah, a yellow flower. Yeah, it's so pretty. Yeah. <sighs> smells <laughs> just like clay. <laughs> You're so silly. Oh, cool. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> do you see what I see? Yeah, I do. Whoa. Ready? Do you know what animal that is? <laughs> A lion, yeah. yeah. Will you act like lions with us? <laughs> 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 cool that an artist made this lion out of clay. Yeah, it's pretty awesome. Yeah, and it's so colorful too. They must have painted it. Yeah, look at the blue eyes. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> okay, I'll very gently when I set that down. Nicely done. Oh, thanks. Hey, Flippy, there's more animals down here. Oh yeah, you're right. Look, a bunny rabbit. Aww. <laughs> nice little carrot right there. It's so cute. Oh. oh, what about this little elephant? Aww. Little elephant, but big ears. You got that right. <laughs> oh, and look at this one. Huh, oh, what is that, do you think? Huh, maybe a leopard? Oh, yeah, and it's really big, almost like a blowfish, but it's not a fish. Yeah, mm. so artistic. Yeah, really cool. You can make anything you want. Yeah, and it's so cool that these animals, yeah, are nice friends together. Aw, so cute. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Look, there's another one up here. Oh, interesting. Looks like a pig, right? Yeah, and purple, one of my favorite colors. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, but wait a second. It's all alone. Yeah, and it looks like there's some space for other animals. <gasps> Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Yeah? Lunch What's time! No. Oh. <laughs> we can make this pig some animal friends. Oh, that's a great <laughs> idea, Mika. Yeah, let's do it. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. Oh, hey, who are you? Hi, guys. Welcome to Cobalt and Clay. My name's Nicole. Oh, oh nice to meet you. I'm Blippi. Hi, and I'm Mika. Oh. <laughs> so what do you do here? Um, I'm the owner and instructor. Wow. Oh. Cool. Well, you might be the perfect person to ask. Do you think we could make some pottery today? Of course. Oh. Yeah, oh. we want to make some animal creatures. Awesome. Well, would you like to hand build or throw? Hmm. What's the difference? Well, hand building is where you can you use your hands to sculpt, and throwing is where we use the pottery wheel that spins. Whoa. Oh, could we do both? Of course. Yeah. yeah. How do we get started? So if you guys want to grab some clay, and I'll meet you at the wheels. All okay. right. <laughs> Thanks. See you later. See you. Oh, cool. Oh, look at all this clay, Blippi. Wow. Big <gasps> blocks of clay, it looks like. Yeah. Oh, look at this one. Kind of looks oh. red. Yeah, you're right. Almost like a brick. Oh, yeah, and look down here. Whoa, this was like a dark brown. Oh, yeah. Oh, and look at these. Oh, Ooh, a nice tan color. Yeah, and the shape of balls, it looks like. Yeah, interesting. Yeah, Let's look we? inside. I wonder if they're the perfect size. Oh, check it out. Whoa, cool. Yeah. There you go. One for you. 
Oh, and thank one you. one for me. <laughs> oh, cool. Ooh, and I have a great idea. <laughs> and since they're pieces of clay and they won't get ruined if they fall on the ground. I know what you're going to do. Yeah, go, here we go. Oh, Flippy. Yeah. Whoa. Well, nice job. Thank you very much. I should probably put this third one away, right? Yeah. <laughs> Let's seal up the bag so then they don't dry out, right? Good idea. <laughs> All right. Nice twist. <laughs> All there right. You are. Here we go. All right. Oh, check it out. Oh, scales. Yeah. Whoa. We could weigh our clay. Yeah. Do you want to go first or me? Oh, you go ahead. <laughs> oh, thanks, Mika. All right. Hey, there we go. Oh, wow. yeah. Looks like one pound. Oh, nice. Wonder if mine's going to be the same or different. Yeah. Oh, also about one pound. <laughs> or Half a kilogram. <laughs> so silly. Well, I think they're good, shall we? Yeah, let's get started. <laughs> okay. okay, I'm so excited. Me too. Okay, we'll set that there. Ooh, aprons. Oh, smart. So then we don't get dirty. Yeah, this will protect our clothes. Yeah, and it even says cobalt and clay. Oh, cool. Matching aprons. Yeah. Oh, Hi, hey. Guys. Hey, hey, Nicole. Are you ready to throw? Yeah. yeah. Right. Throw clay. <laughs> So I'm gonna go over a few things that we're gonna be using. So we have a bucket of water here that's gonna help the clay glide through our hands. Uh -huh. And then the way the wheel works, there's a foot pedal on your table. You're oh. gonna set it on the floor and that's gonna control the wheel speed. Okay, and do we sit down? Yeah, you're gonna sit I'll on your sit. stool. <laughs> cool, <laughs> nice and relaxing. Whoa, okay. the pedal's on the floor. And that's what you use to control the spin. And then what about the clay? So you're gonna take it, you're gonna smack it in that center circle. Uh -huh. You'll tap the sides really well, seal the base, and then you'll just start to mold your piece. Sounds okay. like fun. <laughs> thank you so much. Okay, I'm gonna set up our next station. All right, All right. thank See you. Ya. See ya. Okay. Ready to throw it? Ready to throw. Whoa. I missed the center. <laughs> Me too. We Let's should do probably do that again. Oh, whoa. Three, two, one. Yeah, whoa. nice. <laughs> Okay, and then I think she said to use some water oh, yeah. on our hands, Let's right? Water our hands. Okay, water our Just hands. Water, water our hands. Water, 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 water our, our hands. hands. <laughs> okay. Okay, there we go. All right. Smack Ooh. it. Oh, and then she said seal it, right? Oh, so maybe push yeah. it down. I, and... I think we go around the edges like this, so then it seals from this plate. That sounds right to me. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. 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 Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> That's fun. Really? Yeah. Can't wait to try. Whoa. Whoa. Okay. Oh, it actually goes pretty fast, what huh? Does it? Whoa. <laughs> yeah. Whoa. <laughs> My clay is going for a ride. <laughs> yeah. Mine's a little off center, so I'm going to push it in the center. Yeah, like that. Oh, that's a good idea. Yeah, maybe it'll work. I don't know. <laughs> Whoa, look at my hands. Oh, mine too. Whoa. Sticky and slimy. How about a clay high five? Oh, <laughs> on my face. <laughs> that's silly. <laughs> Doing clay can be pretty dirty. I know, but it's really fun. fun. <laughs> Jeez. Okay, All here right. we go. Whoa. 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 Okay. Don't let go of your clay. <laughs> Kid, you're so silly, Mika. Oh. How are you doing? I don't know. Whoa. I don't know. I can't stop. It's pretty wobbly. <laughs> okay. Here we go. Whoa, look at that blue. Yeah, making a cereal bowl. Oh, cool. Whoa. All right, here we go. Whoa, 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 whoa. I think mine's going to be a little wobbly. Whoa. Oh, should we take a look? Yeah, let's check it out. Oh, okay, I'm going to keep going with that shape. Let's see. Whoa. Whoa, look at what I made. Oh, that looks amazing. Yeah, like a bowl. You can put all sorts of knickknacks in here. Yeah, or you can put little snacks in there. Oh, yeah, smart. Ooh, and it's so cool because when you want to go higher, you just Pull it up. You don't even have to spin your hand around. Blimey, you're such a natural. <laughs> Thanks, Mika. Ready? Whoa. Here we go. Whoa. Oh, my oh, goodness. No. Oh. It's too fast. Oh. Oh. It's actually harder than it looks, huh? Yeah. 
I'm broke. Oh, yours looks pretty cute, though. Oh, well, thank you. Oh, well, shall we go to the next station? Yeah, let's try it out. <laughs> oh, this is fun. All right, come on. Okay. Yep. Washed hands. I think we're ready. Yeah, I'm so excited. Yeah. All right. And what's oh. this station called? Hand building. Hand, hand building. building. Whoa. So do we build with our hands? Yeah, we're going to um, sculpt our animals right now. Oh. Okay. Is this the body or the head? This is going to be our animal body. Oh, oh okay. Fun. Ooh, and look at this. Whee. Wow. It's kind of like the wheel we were at before, but smaller. Yeah. Woo. Wow. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it's okay. And what's this one for? We're going to use these to make our attachments. So like the animal's limbs and maybe like some fins or some whatever you're trying to create. Oh, cool. cool. Well, huh, what kind of animal do I want to make? Ooh. Um, Maybe a tiger? Ooh, that's a good one. Yeah. What about you? I think I might do a dinosaur. Oh, fun! Yeah, with plates down the back. Ooh, like a stegosaurus. Yeah! Cool! All right, so how do we get started? Just pull it off? Yes, yeah, so you're gonna just pinch a little piece of clay off. Okay. And then you're gonna roll it, use your fingertips to mold the shape that you'd like. So if you're trying to make, um, if you're trying to make a limb, then you know you just want a little foot or yeah. a paw of some okay. sort, right? Ooh, yeah, look at this. Ooh. A really short leg. Yeah. Like this. <laughs> nice. Okay. And how do you get it to stick? So when you make clay attachments, it's called score and slipping. So what we need first is needle tools. Needle tools. Oh. <laughs> Nicole. <laughs> I have them right here. Oh. Here you go. You One, just three. had these needle tools in your jam pack? I have everything in my jam pack. Oh, cool. Mm -hmm. Okay, so how do you do it? Oh my God. So you're going to take the needle and then we're going to make a little tic tac toe mark on one of the bottoms of our piece. Okay. Tic tac toe. Tic tac toe. What a fun game. <laughs> yeah, there we go. And then you're going to do it to the body as well where you're going to connect it. Okay. Oh, where should I connect it? Okay, how about like right this. here? One, two, three, four. Okay. There we go. All right. And then in these cups, these are called slips. So what you're going to do is you'll dip your finger in the slip. Oh, like glue? It's glue. It's clay glue, basically. <laughs> you're going to dot the tic-tac-toe. You'll put them together, and then you'll firmly push it so it could stick to one another. Okay. There we push go. Push it together? Oh, Whoa. yeah. It's sticking. Oh, yeah. It did. Check it Whoa. out. Whoa. <laughs> cool. Look at mine. Whoa. Good job. One leg done. There oh, we go. That looks so good, Blippi. Oh, yours too. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Well, guys, your, your animals look great. Thank oh, you. Thank you. What do we do next? So now we're going to paint them. Bring Whoa. them to life. Cool. Paint them. Cool. It looks like we have some paint right here. Oh, yeah. Oh, but these brushes look way too big. Mm -hmm. Oh, don't worry. I have paint brushes right here in my jam bag. Oh, you have everything in there. I really do. I have some more too if you want other options. I have a little one. I have a bigger one. I have another little one. I also have a medium sized one. And I also have another one that's, oh, sorry, that's not it. That's a tool. And I have a tiny one and I have another tiny one. Whoa. Okay, I'll use this one and this one. Okay, sounds good. Whoa. And then we just use these paints and put them on the animals? Yes, you, whatever color you want it, whatever designs you want, you're gonna dip it in and then you'll just paint it onto your to your animal. Awesome, cool. thank you. Let's right. do it. Yes, yeah, since you guys have what you need, I'm gonna go check on the kiln and uh, I'll come back and I'll have a check on you. All okay, right, thank thanks. you. See ya. <laughs> Whoa, wow. cool. Okay, since I'm doing a tiger, I'm gonna use orange. Oh, good idea. Whoa. And I'm gonna use yellow for my dinosaur. It doesn't look like yellow right now, but once it's baked, it's gonna turn to a nice bright yellow. Oh, cool. Check this out. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. There we go. Okay. Hey, I've never go. painted clay before. Me neither. Whoa, it's really fun. Oh, see? Whoa. Right now it looks like the same color as the clay. Yeah. I can't wait to see it when it's yellow. Yeah. My orange isn't that bright, but I bet after it gets fired in the kiln, then from there, I bet it'll turn really bright orange. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, look, water. <laughs> Pretty thirsty. <laughs> no, no, Blippi. What? That's for your paintbrush. Oh, smart. <laughs> yeah, you dip your paintbrush in this water. You don't drink it. And so then you can use a different color without mixing them. There you go. Oh, thank you. I gotcha. I'll, I'll get some water later. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Dizzy Tiger. Yeah, look at that. 
Whoa, this wow. thing's so cool. Yeah, hey, your tiger looks really good. Wow, yours too. It's wow. so colorful. Thank you. Oh, hey. Hey, Hi. wow, guys, your pieces look great. Yeah, Thank you, you like them? They're mm -hmm. amazing. Wow, why aren't they so bright and colorful? So once we take them and put them in the kiln, the colors are going to get a lot brighter. Oh, oh, cool. Can't wait to see them. Yeah, so is my orange going to get like my suspenders and bow tie? Exactly. Whoa, wow. and will mine get his bright as the yellow as my headband? Yes. Oh, Whoa. that's fun. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, cool. Well, what do we do next? Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take your guys' animals and then I'll put them in the kiln and then you could come get them when they're ready. Oh, oh fun. Sounds like a good okay, plan. Okay, here you Kay. go. See you later, tiger. Okay, be gentle with it. Here you go. Thank you. Bye. <laughs> well, thank you so much. Oh, See ya. Wow, that was so nice for teaching us about pottery. Yeah, that was really nice. We learned a lot. Yeah, I can't wait to see what they look like. I know, that was really fun. Yeah. <laughs> well, shall we return the aprons? Yeah, let's do it. And then we can come back to pick up our things. Great idea. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, Whoa look. cool. This must be where everyone picks up their pottery. Yeah. <gasps> Ours. Yeah. Cool. What do you think? Whoa, she's right. It did turn bright orange. Yeah, it really did. And mine turned bright yellow. Oh, yours looks so great. Thank you. I really like yours, too. Oh, thanks. Hey, shouldn't we go? Yeah, put it by the pig. Yeah, let's go. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was so much fun today! Yeah, that was a great time making these new friends! Yeah! Whoa! Hey, did you notice? They both roar? That's right, because mine's a dinosaur! And mine is a tiger! <laughs> cool! Should we roar together? Yeah! Will you roar with us? Ready? Roar! <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was awesome! Yeah, Whoa. it was so cool molding that clay and creating these! And then using the paintbrush and coloring them? Yeah! Oh, making art is so fun! Yeah, especially with friends! Yeah! Oh, speaking of friends! Oh, yeah! Hello! Will you be our friend? Please say yes! Please say yes! Yes! <laughs> we did it! Nice job! Good job! Well, this is the end of this video, but if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name! Will you spell my name with us? Cool. B L I P P I. Blippi. Good job. Will you spell my name with us? Awesome. M E E K A H. Mika. Mika. All right. See you again. Bye bye. 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 <laughs> Whoa. And it looks like there's a dino behind me. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Dinosaur. <laughs> Do you know what kind of dinosaur this is? <laughs> yeah, it's a Tyrannosaurus Rex or T-Rex. <laughs> they were really big dinosaurs, 40 feet long, 12 feet tall, <laughs> and lived a really long time ago. <laughs> I like T-Rexes because they have really big heads and really teeny tiny arms. <laughs> Let's go find some more dinosaurs. Woo. Whoa, check it out. <laughs> We're here at a dig site. Yeah, where we can dig up and discover fossils. <laughs> oh, and good thing I have my trusty brush. Yeah, when you're digging up fossils, you don't want to use a shovel or your hands. You want to use a brush so it's nice and gentle because Breaking a fossil could mean losing precious information for a scientific discovery. <laughs> yeah, we basically don't want to break the fossils. Well, <laughs> here we go. <laughs> Ooh, let's see what we can find. Whoa, brushing away. <laughs> Brush. Whoa. Whoa, check it out. It's a fossil. <laughs> I wonder if this is a dinosaur. What kind of creature this could be? Whoa, hmm. Whoa, <laughs> check it out. Huh, are those fingers? Whoa, <laughs> this looks really cool. Gotta keep brushing. Whoa, did you know that people who work to study dinosaurs, they're called paleontologists. <laughs> yeah, I really like dinosaurs, but 
not a paleontologist. Yeah, paleontologists, they know all about fossils and dinosaurs. Whoa, they study dinosaurs every day. <laughs> That's a lot of dinosaurs. Whoa, check it out. <laughs> it's a dinosaur bone. Whoa, it looks like we found a foot and we found the body. <laughs> I wonder what's over here. Oh, we're getting closer, we're getting closer. <laughs> Whoa, check it out. Look, we found its face. Hello, <laughs> hello little dinosaur. Well, this isn't a little dinosaur. This looks like a big dinosaur. It looks like a stegosaurus. <laughs> hello stegosaurus. Whoa. That's awesome! Whoa, look at this! <laughs> this looks like a really, really big bone. But this isn't a bone, it's a fossil. Hello? <laughs> yeah, well, a fossil might look like a bone, but what happens is a bone falls on the ground, and then dirt and mud covers it up. <laughs> then that bone decomposes, it goes away. But there's still that space where the bone was, and sediment and different material fills it up, and turns into a rock. And then, a really long time in the future, <laughs> we find it, just like this. And that's a fossil that scientists can use to learn about dinosaurs. <laughs> Whoa, check this one out. <laughs> this is a really small fossil. Huh, hmm. This doesn't really look like a dinosaur. Hmm, doesn't really look like a bone either. I wonder what it is. Ooh, I don't know what this is, but I bet if we ask, a dino expert can tell us. <laughs> hey, let's go find a dino expert. Hmm, I wonder what this is. <laughs> Whoa, I really wish I knew what this fossil was. Hmm, Ooh, I see someone, maybe they know. <laughs> Hi, I'm Blippi, what's your name? Hi Blippi, I'm Kevin, oh. and I'm a dino expert. Whoa, no way! It is so nice to meet you, Kevin. <laughs> Kevin's a dino expert. Maybe he knows what this is a fossil of. <laughs> Whoa, well, Kevin, we found this fossil, but I don't know what it is. Oh, yeah, I can totally tell you what this is. This is actually a tooth of an Edmontosaurus. Oh, a tooth? <laughs> Whoa, we didn't know what it was, but it's a tooth of an Edmontosaurus? That's right, yeah, that's this animal right here. Whoa, check it out! <laughs> The Edmontosaurus is so big! <laughs> oh, and look, it does have some teeth up there, and it looks like it has a duck bill. Quack, quack, quack. <laughs> yeah, that duck bill was actually used to peck at leaves and pull them off the trees. Whoa, that is amazing! Huh, did it just eat leaves or other things too? Uh, no, this was an herbivore, which means it only eats plants. Whoa, yeah. Some dinosaurs were herbivores. <laughs> that means they like to eat lots of plants but others were carnivores. <laughs> they like to eat meat, and some were omnivores. Yeah, that means they eat meat and vegetables and leaves and plants. <laughs> Whoa, oh, but this tooth looks like lots of teeth. Is this just one tooth? This is just one tooth. It looks like that because uh, this Edmontosaurus used to grind up its food to make it easier to eat. Whoa, <laughs> that's awesome. Hey, that kind of reminds me of a cow. <laughs> Whoa, that's a pretty cool Edmontosaurus. <laughs> Whoa, and check it out. Its legs are so big. <laughs> Looks like it's really good at walking. <laughs> yeah, it is, actually. It used to walk on all fours, but if it needed to get higher, uh, like to get trees, leaves off of the trees, uh, it would stand up on two legs to get more height. Wow, did you hear that? <laughs> it could stand up just like you and me, or walk on all fours just like a little puppy dog. <laughs> so silly. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, and I had one other question, Kevin. Yeah? Do all dinosaurs walk on the land? They do, actually. Oh. Yeah. Well, what about dinosaurs that fly in the air or are in the water? Those actually aren't considered dinosaurs. They're oh. called prehistoric creatures. Whoa, prehistoric creatures. Whoa. <laughs> And I really hope I can see a prehistoric creature one day. <laughs> hmm. Well, do you know of any prehistoric creatures? I do actually have another one right here. And you know what? He's a little lonely. 
He needs a friend. Whoa, check it out. It's a prehistoric creature. Whoa. <laughs> and what kind of creature is this? This one's a trilobite. Whoa, a trilobite. <laughs> oh, well, we need to find this trilobite a friend. <laughs> well, thank you, Kevin, for showing me the trilobite and this amazing dinosaur. <laughs> this was so much fun. <laughs> I'll see you later, Kevin. Bye. Bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> Let's go find a friend. <laughs> Whoa! There are so many amazing fossils here, just like our little trilobite. Hello! <laughs> yeah, keep your eye out. We might need to find him a friend. <laughs> You're so cute. <laughs> oh, there's a person. Maybe they can help us. Hi! Hi, Blippi, I'm Laura. Oh, it's nice to meet you, Laura. <gasps> Whoa, and what is that? This is a trilobite, a really big one. Whoa, look! We have a little small trilobite and a really, really big one. <laughs> it's so big! And I bet they're gonna be great friends. Oh, yeah. Hey, good friends like to dance. Let's do the trilobite dance. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, <laughs> these trilobites are really good dancers. <laughs> wow, this is a really amazing fossil. Yeah, and these trilobites, they lived underwater? They did, they are prehistoric arthropods, which means that they're related to bugs and crabs. Whoa, did you hear that? This isn't a dinosaur, no. A trilobite is an arthropod? An arthropod. <laughs> Whoa, that is a really big name. It <laughs> is. But it just means that the trilobite is a really, really old bug. <laughs> Whoa, and check it out. Laura, is this a dinosaur? No, actually, this is a prehistoric marine reptile. <laughs> Whoa, a prehistoric marine reptile? So it's not a dinosaur? No, it's not. Dinosaurs lived on land, but there are other creatures that flew in the sky and swam in the sea, like yeah. this one. This is Tylosaurus. Ooh, hello, Tylosaurus. <laughs> hey, this is a Tylosaurus. This is a Tylosaurus. Yeah, <laughs> it's a Tylosaurus. Ooh, let's give it a name. We should call this Tylosaurus Tyler. <laughs> I think that's a great name. Hello, Tyler. Hi, Tyler. <laughs> oh, and it looks like Tyler has a lot of teeth. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and do you see? Tyler is really, really big. <laughs> he looks almost as big as a T-Rex. <laughs> he is. He's almost the same length as a T-Rex. You could call him the T-Rex of the ocean. Whoa, check him out. <laughs> Wow. He's really cool. Do you see that spot on his jaw that looks like a break? It's actually not a break in his jaw, it's a hinge. Tylosaurus could unhinge its jaw to swallow prey whole. Whoa, did you hear that? Tyler can unhinge his jaw. <laughs> yeah, you've probably seen a hinge before. Yeah, a hinge goes like this. <laughs> Doors have hinges and Tyler has a hinge for his jaw so he can open up really wide. Woo! <laughs> to eat lots of yummy food. <laughs> well, thank you so much for teaching me all about prehistoric creatures. <laughs> I'll see you later, Laura. Bye. There you go. <laughs> okay, let's keep looking for some more dinosaurs and fossils. <laughs> bye bye. Bye bye. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, check it out! It's a Triceratops! <laughs> yeah, Triceratops were really big dinosaurs. <laughs> Look, they had three horns on their head. One, two, three! <laughs> and they were really big and really heavy. They could weigh as much as a truck. <laughs> That's over five tons! <laughs> hey, will you be a Triceratops with me? Okay, first you need three horns. One, two, three. <laughs> okay, here we go. Now, roar! <laughs> well, today was so much fun learning about fossils and dinosaurs with you. <laughs> Well, that's the end of this video, but if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. 
Hey, will you spell my name with me? <laughs> okay, here we go. B L I P P I. Philippi. Good job. Well, I'll see you soon. Bye bye. <laughs> It's me, Blippi, and today I'm at Moxie in Santa Barbara, California. And this place is such a fun place to learn about science. Do you like science and learning? Yeah, today is going to be fun then. Let's go. This is awesome. Oh, and look at this. This is a globe, and actually, it uses infrared technology. Yeah, so then you can have your hands right here, and this camera senses what's right on top of this black mat. Whoa! Yeah, this is some cool technology. Technology is when you take something that you learn from science, and then you make something with it, like this machine. Whoa, cool! <laughs> Hey, I have an idea. Why don't I make a shape? Yeah, I'm gonna go like this, which stands for Blippi in sign language. All right, ready? Okay, take a picture. All right. Whoa, yeah! See, I just said Blippi in sign language. And why that means Blippi is because this looks like my bow tie. Wow, I'm having so much fun. Let's go! Whoa, what a cool machine. Wow, all right, let's see what this does. Whoa, do you see how that ball is going on the track? Yeah, it started up top and it's going all the way down to the bottom. Yeah, do you know how it does that? Yeah, it does that because of gravity, cool. <laughs> Yeah, gravity is what pulls everything down back to the planet Earth. Whoa, what is this? Make some cool noise. But they actually stick together, look. Oh, I know what these are. These are magnets. All right, let's see if we can make a rainbow type shape. Wow, magnets are awesome. Whoa, look at this. Looks like a bunch of people jumping in the air. Whoa, I wonder why they're doing that. That's so silly. Jumping is so much fun, yeah. Oh, look right over here. Oh, that's where they were jumping. Oh, and look, measurements. One foot, two feet, three feet, four feet. Oh, and it looks like three feet is about one meter. Oh, hey, look, there's me. Okay, it says jump now. All right, let's see how high I can jump. <laughs> Whoa, there I go. Whoa, I am concentrating really hard. Whoa, almost four feet. Let's go check it out over here. Oh, there I am. Whoa. We'll get rid of that one. Ooh, check this out. All right, here we go, Blippi. Yeah, you can push play. There I go, look at my face, I'm going, Whoa. I lifted my legs very high. Ooh, and look at this. Wow, and do you see? This is going really slow. Look, yeah, when I jump, I go faster than this. This is called slow motion. Wow, so cool. <laughs> Whoa, another fun activity. It says start here, exit there. I wonder what this does. Whoa, look, there I am. It's motion capturing me. Woo, I can move fast. Whoa. And I can move slow. 
slow motion. Oh, let's check it out on the screen. Whoa, cool. Hey, there I am. Yeah, see my body, my hands, my feet, and my head. All right, we can push play. Oh, there I am. Yeah, I'm dancing. Oh yeah, I moved fast. Yeah. And then I moved slow. Wow, motion capture is so cool. And this is so much fun. Oh, there I went. <laughs> I went bye-bye. Bye-bye. Whoa, check it out. This looks like a racetrack. But hmm, I don't see any cars around here or planes to race. Huh, but it definitely looks like one because it looks like you start right here, you go down, you do a loop-de-loop, -loop, you do a second loop-de-loop, -loop, you do a third loop-de-loop, -loop, and then you go all the way to the finish line. Okay, let's see. What could we race around here? Oh, there's something. Yeah, a pail. Ooh, and do you see what's in here? <laughs> a ball just dropped out there. All right, let me pick it up. All right, and then we should probably race some of these balls. All right, how about... <laughs> so loud. <laughs> how about these three balls? We have one made out of stone, one made out of wood, and a hollow one made out of plastic. All right. <laughs> okay, here we go. Here we go. One, two, three, go! Yeah! Did you see that? Yeah, made it through the whole track. I wonder if this stone one will go. One, two, three, go! Whoa! All right. Now for the last one. One, two, three, go! Yeah! All three made it to the end. And did you see how they all start up top and then they all go down to the bottom? Yeah, because gravity is pulling them down. But then when the loop-de-loops happen, it slows them down because they have to go back up. You know, like walking up a hill, it's pretty hard. But going down a hill, it's way easier. Whoa! Wow! Look at all these cool things! I wonder what this does. Okay. Whoa, it sprays water when I push it through these tubes. Hey, and it spins this thing. Oh, yeah. All right, let's see if we can get this to spin. Oh, we might need to wait. All right, ready? Three, two, one. <laughs> yeah, look, it's spinning now. Whoa, it's going so fast. Whoa. Wow, this is so much fun playing in the water. Whoa, look at this. Whoa, kind of looks like a corkscrew. Oh, I see what it's doing. It's actually bringing water all the way from the bottom all the way to the top. Oh, do you see it? It's pouring out the top. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa, and look at all this water. It's like my hands are ducks, quack, 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 hanging out in the water and flying in the air. <laughs> That's not a duck. A duck goes quack, quack, quack. <laughs> hey, look at this. All this water is stuck because this is in the way and this is in the way. Oh, it's like a dam. You know, like what beavers like to make. Yeah, whoa. All right, let's see what happens when you open this up. All the water just came out. Check it out. Here we go. Three, two, one. Yeah, that's awesome. Oh, I'm all wet from the water. Hey, we should probably go dry off. 
<laughs> Whoa, look at these. <laughs> Here we go. Let's dry off. <laughs> Wow, I sure did have a lot of fun learning with you. Isn't science great? I know! Well, this is the end of this video. What? If you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? <laughs> B-L-I-P-P-I, -P -P -I, Flippy. Good job, and I'm sure I'll see you again. Bye-bye!